Pratchett. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, yeah probably. Hello. 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 No, it's just it's. Oh, the class isn't right. Beanie, you fucked up. It's yeah, you yeah. put Ranger Warlock, but it's it's. Uh, I think you you put the same thing. You rogue put for, sorcerer. It's rogue sorcerer. You put Davin's oh. class uh, twice. Oh. Ah, I'll fix that in about five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. Well, it's fine. We can, we're still doing announcements and stuff, so I can quickly swap them out. So it's no, no, no biggie. I mean, we needed more Davian anyway, let's be honest. I mean, <laughs> count, counterpoint. Counterpoint, I mean. Fucking long. All right, there we go. I love gothic, but oh, I, oops. There we go. you know the, the fucking like. Your vocal cords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Walt, yeah. the Walmart Reinhardt is a little rough, but like. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Um, a good ass time. Yeah. So we'll. Uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, I had to quickly add the audio sources in both this scene and the the potential combat scene, but I did that now. So hey, sorry. Uh, first time we have a guest since I got this new PC, and my all my scenes and artwork and everything was everywhere, all over the place, and I couldn't find it. So sorry. Um, but we're here. Mm -hmm. It's it's working. Um, nice. Just uh, just <sighs> replace the image real quick. Yeah. Did you do it? Nice. You're a fucking yeah, right. legend. Thank you. In about Hello. 15 seconds, chat, the overlay is going to be right, I promise. <laughs> this, guy, this guy is insane at what he does. It's kind of crazy. It a minute. I think if I just mm. save it over and override the one that I've already saved, it will auto replace it in OBS. OBS. You might have to re refresh cache. There it goes. Oh, it fucking, it fucking auto replaced it, boys. Look at that. We have the technology. It's Beautiful. crazy. We have uh, the technology. <laughs> all right. Hi, now gamers. I've got to find ways um, to sneak in things to the overlay. Scrappy, Shammers, thanks for the follows, by the way, guys. Appreciate you. Uh, welcome to Dungeon Select. It is Sunday. Um, we're here. We're playing D and D, and we have a guest. And I think before we do oh. announcements and stuff, I want to give Briar a little, a little, a little, little spotlight to kind of me introduce themselves and 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 you know what they do, what they're about. So if you want to just do that now, real quick, uh, go sure. for it. The floor is yours. Hi, it's me, Briar. See what I did there? Um, I stream here on Twitch. Lots of Elder Scrolls Online, lots of Animal Crossing, lots of charity streams. Uh, recently, I've gotten into Ooblets. If you haven't played that game, it's so freaking cute. And I DM a campaign that Laura plays in. Um, we are playing through the Wild Beyond the Witchlight, so that's super fun. Um, but yeah, that's kind of that's kind of it. I have two kitties and a doggo that like to steal the show, and um, they do. Yeah, they're kind of great. It's <laughs> great. It's good, good times. And uh, for those that, that that watch our channel way too much, you'll have seen Briar before <laughs> during the uh, the charity Witcher one shots. Um, I think maybe among other things, but I think mainly the Witcher one shots. I can't recall yeah. if Briar has been on anything DS related. Besides, you played that? in one of the one shots I DM'd on this channel, Briar. I don't. I don't think so. I think no, I've only done the Witcher charity ones. They on all this blend channel. together now. No, you did. You were in James's, right? Yeah, that True. was on. Oh, I streamed that on my channel. Oh though. yeah, no, that yeah, was yeah, that yeah. was on. Uh, yeah, well, no. you have I DM'd? I feel like I've DM'd for you, but I don't know if I have. I think yeah, you did. I don't did. remember where it was what streamed. Did we, what did we do? Was it the same one shot where Duke played Gartix? I, yeah, Brian was in the Gothic one shot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget yeah. which one that is. Yeah. That was, but yeah. So, oh, Briar's been yeah, in that for, was streamed. But, Lots of uh, This is the first time Briar is uh, going to be a part of the actual Dungeons like campaign, guys. And they'll be here for uh, a little while, depending on how fast or slow things go in uh, this particular. How quickly kill they kill me off, yeah. you know. In this particular <laughs> neck of the the Shadow Fell, uh, where the party is currently um, at. Yeah, go check out Briar because they're great and they do cool stuff on stream and all that good stuff. So, I try. Um, you you're still raising money for for Saint Jude at the moment, right? Saint Jude, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah for the rest of the month, there you go. So Aiming like, for another when we hit three hundred dollars. Yeah, when we hit three hundred dollars raised, I'll have to do a cosplay stream dressed up as the character that I play in Laura's campaign, uh, a bard blood hunter named Neri. We're just kind of like an incestuous box of hamsters. How, how, yes. We're all in each how other's far, games. We're all just crawling. How far are you away, away from that? that? <laughs> 95 doll hairs. <laughs> Get in there. It's like... 
Beanie, Beanie, I, I already, Beanie is I already, no, he, Ethan I did three big, a big chonky donation yeah. the other day, so he is uh, off the I can't, but... remember, I can't remember what for, but... <laughs> to, so chat could pick my next hair color, which pink yes. won the poll, so... Oh, God. Hell yeah. That'll be happening in June. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, before we get going, uh, some announcements. Uh, yesterday, Soko DM'd a one-shot on the channel, uh, his, his first ever, you know, baby's first DM. Uh, was this your f very first like DM experience, like in general? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. We'll just, we'll just label it that. It, you know, that, yeah. mark <laughs> that market's better. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, and that was a lot of fun. We definitely overshot the four-hour uh, mark, but uh, it was a good time. <laughs> it, was a a, it was a good time. I had fun. It was, it was dope. Um, so that will be on the YouTube at some point in the near future. Um, but if you want to watch it now, you know, the VOD is there for you uh, to watch whenever you want. Um, other than that, uh, we had a discourse last Thursday. Me and me and Ethan had a little a little one on one, and turns out that same with with Koiba, you put me and Ethan in a room in a room, just the two of us, and we'll just easily chat two hours about D and D with no like no, no <laughs> nonstop. It's <laughs> it's because we don't see each other very often. Not in a one on one like setting. No, we yeah. always like kind of it's like because when we're like hanging out, it's always there's always at least someone else there. You know, true. For the ones that they want, we want them to know about true yeah <laughs> um other than that um i don't really have anything to announce but uh, i'm looking at laura because laura yes, is our surprise, resident surprise. uh <laughs> announcement, announcement uh, queen announcement queen <laughs> so, so. the name we stand an most, all laura's no, doing most of the ones true. i have i think are fairly self-serving but also oh, in that case we can skip over adjacent them. um <laughs> well, one of them involves you so haha -ha, there you go you oh, skip that one. never mind i'm selfish um, please go on our next episode of call of nether deep will be this saturday uh it should be a good one because it should have lots of uh combat because our players have all entered into a tournament and yes, I've had a lot of fun dude. coming up with uh, opponents and scheduling their matches. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So that'll be this Saturday on my channel at noon. And again, Briar and Dutch will there. On my screen, Briar's above me, Dutch is beneath me on the overlay. <laughs> they're not, so this no, means no. nothing. But the, the, the nameplates are there, guys. Figure, <laughs> it, out. Figure it out what we're both, talking about. The nameplates yeah, are there. They're, they're both going to be there. <laughs> they're both going to be playing fighting some uh opponents that they have yet to discover it's gonna be a good time i really uh, hope that like the tournament formatting favors it so that i end up matched up against uh storm bro that'd be that'd be, <laughs> that'd, that'd be that'd be some good shit we have a we have a storm storm bro 1v1 <laughs> yeah, that'd be fucking great <laughs> if our rivals show up neri's gonna be angry <laughs> they're gonna they're fucking gonna of course they are you know they are <laughs> um, so else? that's announcement number one. Yeah, announcement two, um, dice adjacent. Uh, this Wednesday, I'm doing a special stream. I'm calling Roll for Makeup, and it's because we hit our $500 goal for St. Jude. Ooh, that I'm also raising money for. So I'm going to be letting these bad boys, well, dice, not these specific ones, but dice in general, um, choose my makeup. And that both involves every product. So like every step of makeup, I'm going to assign numbers to all the various ones I have and then roll the dice and have to use whatever product it color is associates with. I'll have to use whatever colors the dice pick. So like the dice would not only pick like an eyeshadow palette, but then they also pick the shades from it. So they may or may not work together. I may look like a clown. I have lots of very bright, bold, not conventional colors of makeup for every for many steps of the way. So it should be a lot of fun. And then that Wednesday night, I have like a thing I have to go to. So hopefully it's okay, because I'll have limited time to remove it if it's not, so... Oh god, I risk, hope you go out looking like a fucking clown. Oh, I can't wait for it to be oh, full, so no... full clown, but just white on white on white on white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no witch light then? Potentially not. Uh, I have to double check the time of the thing on Wednesday, but I think it's okay. like 7 to 10. Nice, know. nice. Um, but yeah, so Roll for Makeup streams happening on Wednesday this coming week. Uh, next Saturday is called Nether Deep. Next episode, if you ever want to like watch or catch up, all the previous episodes are on my YouTube, so you can always catch up and jump in at any time. And yes, yes. Um, then also th this coming Monday, tomorrow, and the Monday after, the last two of our Mario Party crowd control streams that we're doing for St. Jude. That's where your charity donations directly influence the game with the crowd control extension. You can give or steal stars, coins, items. Imagine all the chaos of Mario Party times 12. It's a good time. All right, ba boom. Yeah, um, anyone that's else? Have everything anything I have. If I have an astrom attack, just I'm fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, Bell, oh. Bell is going to try like to die. <laughs> mm -hmm. I went um, to hospital the other night. I'm good though. Oh, 
<laughs> Don't worry. You're, you're literally falling apart. Can you at least try to <laughs> not die before you come to the Netherlands? That'd be great. I would love to. Like, die I mean, no, whatever. I, I've, I've, already, I've already paid to insure you, so please don't die. It's not going to get any cheaper. <laughs> no, you, no, you can't. Um, it's not going to get any cheaper if she dies. That's the problem. I also learned that uh, the ancient Greeks used to call asthma attacks rehearsing death, which I find so funny. Uh, and I, I have now like adopted that as my own terminology. Yeah, but uh, that's now mine. So that thank you, ancient Greeks. I've got a funeral all planned out. <laughs> that is a pretty um, great fact. I do enjoy that. <clears throat> Koiba? Hi, it's me. You know what I'm gonna ask. What's uh, this is my favorite Don't bit? Disappoint. My favorite Don't bit it, before it. it. I am going. What to are you snacking on today? It's just a packet of crispies today. All right, I'm, pu I'm no. pulling a food no. sweet chili. No, fuck you. It's not being good. I, I had I had a whole cake last week eating. Okay, I got. I yeah, can't, you I did have a whole well. cake last week. I, yeah, I mean, I we have to make sure that this, we don't start influencing Koiba's so, health. Like all of a sudden, Koiba's up, just gonna start getting diabetes. Influencing Koiba's health. The man ate a fourteen serving cake to. I know. Straight, <laughs> that's why we need to give him a break. We need to great, cut him some straight smoke. up. Next day, not well. <laughs> no, <laughs> <we're> not <laughs> that's there. crazy. Who was it? Stomach was not happy. I was. I was like, why does everything go? Because it's full of cake. I was. I felt like I was sweating cake at one point. Sounds I sweat. worth it though, honestly. Just icing That's coming like, out of your pores. How many? How many, yeah. how many did we work out question. how many calories mm -hmm. it was? Oh, like a billion. I have an important question though, Koiba. Uh, so if you had to do like pain of death, you have to do one again. The whole cake by yourself, yeah. or um, Ethan's cursed McDonald's order? Oh, the cake. I mean, I, I, I'll be honest with you, Laura. I'll probably have the cake again within the next like two months. I My birthday is literally next remember. month. So, I, mean, I can't like, even remember what I bought you. You bought him a, like a, a quarter pounder donut. Quarter pounder. Donut, quarter pounder, quarter pounder. Else. Oh, and, like, and a, a, a chickenless wrap. Mayonnaise. Yeah. Mayonnaise. <laughs> a wrap that's just mayonnaise. A kid's happy meal. Wasn't there cheese in the wrap too? <laughs> oh, yeah, there was cheese, cheese in the wrap. Yeah, happy and mayonnaise, meal, yeah. and then. You know, <laughs> I'm dying. So much I cared about that, Ethan. I got a happy meal toy. You know, okay? As a warning. Yeah. Don't All right. I just had to sneeze. Just um, a reminder. We started a little late, so let's uh, let's get to it. Duke, anything you want to talk about? Dreams related, or are you, we good to go? Bro, okay, oh, actually, like kind of. Yeah, like I've had some diary. weird dreams the last few nights. Um, I don't know. I'll touch on one. Like weirdly baseball related again. This guy. But. Yeah, I know, man. No, I was like walking in a mall with a friend, and the friend had a uh, baseball jersey on of like one of uh, this player from the Yankees called Cortez. And then we like ran into Cortez in the mall, but then he acted as if like the shirt was offensive somehow, like, <laughs> like as if I don't even know, like, I don't know, as if his name being written on it was, like, a, a, offensive. Like, it was a slur, like, kind of thing. Like, it was... And I was, like, really apologetic about it and just really confused. Um, there... I, I, I had another really weird dream, but it was, like, therapy shit that I didn't write down because I was, like, I, enough, don't need, I don't need to remember that one. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's, uh, let's get into it. Last we left off, the party... Um... Was still in the Shadowfell, in a realm, like a, kind of like a pocket realm within the Shadowfell called Barovia, uh, an area enshrouded by a magical mist, making it so that nobody can get out. Uh, they can get in, but they can't get out unless they have the permission to do so. Uh, the party kind of explored a, a village also called Barovia, you know, Barovia and Barovia, uh, and met uh, some, some interesting characters. One of which, uh, a priest uh, named uh, Father Donovich, and uh, the party visited him at his church. Um, learned that his son was turned into a vampire by uh, by Count Strahd, uh, and um, took him out. And now the party, um, before they entered the realm, uh, the reason they're there is to save uh, Brooks's uh, brother. Um, and they learned through a, a fortune-telling, tarot card-reading hybrid um, that uh, in order to be able to take the fight to Strahd uh, and potentially beat him or free Brooks' brother, uh, there was a couple of things that they needed to do. Uh, one of which is they had to find an ally, and that ally that will help them on their way, they got told, is being kept prisoner in the Burgomaster's house, which I recently learned is just a fancy Dutch 
esque English word for mayor because burgemeester, burgomaster, learn something new every day. Well, Look at that. Yeah, and like that's the German word for mayor too. There you go. So learn something new every day. Um, so the party got told about uh, an entry into the the house that would make him avoid the guards out front. And um, I think last we left off, you kind of were on your way there, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and that's kind of how I, we ended it. My last note was heading to BM house. Meeting so, Bergermeister. Uh, <laughs> in that case, as you uh, approach the house, you're still at a relatively like, safe distance away, but you see a, a, a wary looking mansion squatting behind a, a rusting iron fence. Iron gates are twisted and torn. The, um, the right gate of these gates lies cast aside while the left swings lazily in the wind. Uh, with a stuttering squeal and and clang, uh, and it just repeats over and over again in like a, like a, just a mindless precision. Uh, large weeds choke the grounds and and press upon the house itself. Uh, yet against the walls, the growth has been tramped down to create a path uh, all around uh, the the house. Um, heavy claw markings can be seen, kind of scratching, uh, having been scratched on uh, the stone pillars that kind of separate the pieces of uh, iron fencing. Um, you can also see that in like by where these like these gates are, uh, a, a group of four guards stand wearing leather clothing, uh, hood up so you can't really see their faces. Uh, what do you do? What would you like to do? Well, our instructions were specifically to go around to the back of the house because there was like that latch we were told of in the yeah. fence that if we find it, it will drop a part of the fence. And then we have a key to the back door of the house. Scutting that way, then. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, you find to be stealth, 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 stealth. Yeah. Stealthy? Yeah. Then yeah. would you all please make a stealth check? Oh, wait. Before we do, uh, I think I might ask. I might ask Kess. If it's cool if I can hitch hitchhike with her, because my glowing ghost form would probably be a, a disadvantage to the stealth right, to be very are, noticeable. Uh, you put the body in glowing. the vessel, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, because I we decided it's better for me because this is the one place I might not look too out of place as a ghost. That's and true. It's easier. <laughs> so I'll ask Kess if it's cool if I can do that, so that it's easier for us to sneak in and I'm not glowing. Yeah, of course. Whoop. And I'm okay. also going to cast a uh, pass without a trace. Okay. Oh, so everybody gets so I'm assuming I don't need 10. to roll a stealth check. No, I'm... in that case, you're yeah. just kind of, you know, it's a free a free uh, skill check for you. Um, yeah, so make a stealth check and add it uh, plus 10 because of pass without a trace. Right, so I'm rolling 11. <laughs> oh. I mean, that was me last night in that one shot, bro. I just couldn't roll higher. Than oh, dude, why, did I make the why did I make the joke? Did you roll an 11 now? Hold yeah, on. but it's not natural because he's got negatives, hasn't he? True. Yeah. Stealth? He's got negatives, in it. Someone gets a nine with a, with a plus ten. I, I, I rolled yeah. a nine. You rolled a nine with nine the plus? total. Because I, I have a disadvantage and I rolled a nat one minus and two minus two plus ten. Plus ten. Okay. <laughs> well, hopefully the rest carries you in this group check. I mean, um, it's a nat one. They so. have to carry me in stealth. Yeah. Uh, Bell, what's your roll? Twenty six. Twenty six. Oh. Davian. Thank God. Uh, twenty one. Twenty one. Aslo. Twenty five. Twenty five. Brooks. 31. 31. Uh, I Rooks, I'll I say, in your rest, case, you're very stealthily, uh, like, kind of, like, leading. Um, and you hear behind you, Jack's just struggling to stay quiet. And you kind of manage to help him uh, alleviate some of the uh, the clanging of the armor and, and kind of, like, escort him, sort of, to make as little noise as possible. Uh, but you do manage to avoid the attention of the guards and you make your way around the fenced area to the back of the house, um, which lies on the edge of town. And you can see that between the this iron fence and... Uh, or, like, but between... You're kind of, like, between the iron fence and, like, there's just this large <laughs> forest. Very dense. Your, your backs are essentially against the forest wall. There's only a few feet of, of, of place for... Uh, of area for you to move uh, between there. Um... As you kind of look around, you don't really see a way to really get into the woods from this way. Uh, you don't know whether that is just a very dense forest or there's some magic shenanigans going on. You're not sure, but you, you can probably hazard a guess at which uh, at, at what would explain the, the density of this forest. We do love magic shenanigans. Mm, magic tomfoolery. Whoa. But you, uh, you did ma manage to uh, get around to the back. 
So Okay. Is that there... what do we see around the back? Smile. Uh you see this like fencing fenced area and you got given a description of like uh, uh, a place where there would be like a little latch to kind of lower some of the, the bars. Uh yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a hidden latch in the yeah. in the whatever. So the bars make look like. a uh, I to, like feel around for it. Brooks, since you're the one that asked, uh, just make a perception check to see if you can spot. You I'm, cool. not I'm sneaky. <laughs> I'm not good at perceiving. And then stop yeah, asking what you see, ask. man. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I asked what I see. I didn't ask to see more. Well, and I'm gonna uh, decide 13. what you see based on your role. That's how this game works, man. <laughs> you knew. Thirteen. <laughs> 13? Yeah, I've never played d, &D uh, Given before. that you got uh, uh, a description of what you were <laughs> roughly looking for, uh, you do see the like latch that got described to you. I will go and open up the latch. Yeah, and as you do that, uh, there's a small switch underneath, uh, in which when you, when you flick it, you can see two of the iron bars just kind of like lower into the ground, leaving a gap wide enough for you all to squeeze through. I'm squeezing through. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I think we it's best just shimmy on the rear here. Jax gets stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should just stay here. <laughs> no. Maybe, dude. All right. So you uh, you shimmy your way through, and you are now at the back side of the house. You can see the back entrance, to which I believe you got given a key. We did. Uh, right ahead of you. These are optional with our group, though. True. Do you see the door? Uh, what would you like to do? Door. Who has a key? Is there any... So there's a door. Is there any other entrances to the building? Um... Well, any there's a window. Unbarred, there's or... a window yeah. on the back side, but you can see that the windows that you see on this back side are boarded up from the inside. So there's like wooden planks and stuff. Boarding them okay, up. Okay, there's not like a... Like a basement, like... No. Or anything. No. Okay, um... I guess we're taking the back door. Unlock it with the key. Okay. Yeah, you put the key in, and then you hear a click when you when you rotate it. And uh, as you all kind of enter, um, you see the door kind of opens up into a large open room, uh, pretty well furnished, and you can see that in the middle of this room, uh, a man stands, kind of over a uh, figure that is bound to a chair. Uh, and as to what this figure looks like, Briar, can you hey. give us a description of what your character looks like? Oh, that's me. Okay, Um. yeah. So, bound to a chair, right? Yeah, so you're sat um, down, your hands are like bound behind the chair's back. I assume not wearing normal gear. Um, no, you're wearing your gear. But, oh, okay, sweet. Um. So, this person, they are like, kind of lanky uh like you get the sense they could probably move pretty well but maybe aren't like super strong um they are in like dark leathers and they have a pretty nifty looking cloak um on their shoulders with some raven feathers like right at the shoulders um and they've got their long dark black hair is in now a very disheveled single big braid um and kind of like it's almost like looking almost at like a grayscale elf like just very gray tones um the only color that you really see on them is um their sclera is black but the irises Ooh. are like a bright aquamarine color and that's kind of the only color on them um and I assume that they are not having a good time in this chair. Yeah. Uh, as you uh, enter, you kind of overhear this man kind of like pacing in front of this this figure, not really paying attention to what's to his surroundings. Just purely kind of looking down at the floor, pacing. Um, can't really tell what he's saying, except for you, I guess, uh, Briar. You, you'll you'll or Aranya, sorry. Um, mm. You'll kind of hear him mutter to himself. What do I do? What do I do? I don't. I'm just very unsure of of what he need, what 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 he has to do now. He he seems to be in a situation where he doesn't particularly want to be in. Um, uh, but kind of you know doesn't really have a choice but to deal with at this point. How are my uh, bindings and how? So he hasn't noticed the people walk in yet. 
Not yet, no. He seems pretty preoccupied with just kind of like the pacing back and forth, looking at the floor, thinking out loud. Can I try to to rig like I assume my wrists are bound? Can I try to wriggle out of that or um make a sleight of hand check. Ooh, first roll. Ooh. My sleight of hand is surprisingly not great, but oh, 18. Um so you are wearing these like metal uh manacles. Oh, okay. That are, I was assuming that are bound rope. to the chair <laughs> and you really try your best, but there's not really much wiggle room. So unfortunately, you, you try and and when you when you do try the 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 chain that they are attached to makes kind of like a, a ring uh, like a like a clanging sound. Uh, I which, snarl at him. To which the man kind of like looks <laughs> at you and at that point because he's looking in your direction, he sees this group of people suddenly standing at the back of his room and he just kind of Charm Puzzle! <laughs> okay. Is that, a charisma, okay. Is that, a, is that a charisma save? Wisdom. Wisdom. We were told who the Burgermaster was, but we weren't told what he looks like, were we? Uh, no. no. You, just, you were just told okay. a name, yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's a 14. Is my Kolyanovich. Fail! He has, uh, he'll kind of like begin like, what are you? And then he just kind of stops. And he just kind of looks very dazed. Hi! Um, Hello. What are you? you? Um, I'm, I'm the burgomaster of this town. Can I help you? Oh, so you must be Ismark. Yes, yes, that's me. Um. It's I'm I'm, I'm terribly sorry. You've caught me at a bit of a bad time. I'm, I'm dealing with some 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 stuff here. Um, um well, you're here you now. You look like what? You look like you're struggling. Are you okay? Um, in all honesty, no, I'm not. I. Oh no! What's going on? I I I <laughs> listen, I, I I found this one sneaking around town. I got instructed to to deliver them to to to, to the to the to the master, but I. Don't particularly want to, but if I don't, then I'll be killed. And it's it's a really bad situation to be in, and I don't really know what to do. In Kess, in your head, you hear me say to you, oh, "Tell him, tell him, we'll solve his problem. We'll deliver her to the master." Deliver I'm gonna, to I'm gonna know. go, I'm gonna go over and like put a comforting hand on his like arm. He's he like, kind of like us- clasps your hand with his and kind of looks at you, and he looks very concerned. Do you, do you want us to deal with it? We can deal with it. Make a persuasion check with advantage. Or, yeah, uh, make it a persuasion because you've charmed him. No, deception doesn't really matter. It's the we're going to sure, right? get this man killed. Oh, we will take it off his hands. Okay. Yeah. We're going to get this man killed. This is so well, he's oh, mad look, person, man. probably. We no, don't know that. We're not, we're not responsible for these people. He, ha- he hesitated to take her to Strahd. We don't care about him. But he called Strahd the um, master. So did she... you say with advantage? Yeah, I did. It doesn't matter. It's, it was. It's fine. <laughs> uh, that. Yes. Um. That. That would be great. Actually. I. Um. Yeah. If. If you could. Would. would you, you don't mind? No. Not at all. I'd love to help you out. Thank you. Yeah. Um. And he like kind of goes to his pockets and hands you a key to the manacles. Yes. Um. Okay. In that case. Uh. I'll be upstairs. I'll be. Uh, I'm gonna. I need to. I need to. Prepare, um, something. Uh, yeah, you just take them away. Um, just make sure that you're all gone when I get back down. And thank you, thank you very much. I, I really appreciate it. And he scurries Happy off, to help. goes upstairs. What I would will... my impression of him be? Um, well, given that you've other kind of than sat... obviously he took me pr- prisoner, but like, um. He seems like a man put in circumstances where he'd rather not be, and okay. is just trying to do to survive. To trying to do what he needs to do to not be killed. Yeah. Okay. Like you don't not think really. he captured you out of like any yes. sort of like bad intentions, but just kind of like I kind of have to because if I don't, he has to. I'm gonna get killed, and so it's rather you know okay. rather you than me kind of uh, situation. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start. <clears throat> freeing the person. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Aranya, you get freed by these people that you have no idea who they are. I've never seen when, them before. We're not, 
we're not taking you to the dude. Don't worry about it. Yeah, as soon as my hands are free, I'm up out of the chair as fast as I can be and grabbing my gear and like trying to size you guys up. We we're fine. We're friendly. We're friendly. I don't know about friendly. We're not here to fuck you over. We're You're not from here. What he's trying to say. No. We're not from here. And you have no allegiance with this man? No. I just... Magic him. <laughs> so, the problem is, if we tell you how we knew you were here, we're gonna sound like we're all fucking batshit. <laughs> I mean, if they're, like, used to, you know, here, surely we can't be that crazy sounding. You know, the mere fact fine. that you're here at all is... Try me. So, a, a fortune teller read us some cards, and one of the cards said that we would have, maybe not an ally, but like a enemy of our enemy sort of vibe. Yeah, tell them we're here to rescue someone else, and rescuing them was like step one to help us rescue our the actual person we're here for. We're, we're here to rescue you, and the, so you can help us rescue someone else. Um, someone send you. Aranya? Mm. You, you know, given that you, you know kind of how this area works, um, this isn't the first group of adventurers that, that you hear tell about being, uh, upon arrival here, having their fortune told or, or and by this person and being sent to kind of down down this path to try and take down uh, Strahd. So this is not the craziest thing you've ever heard. This is something, a story right. that you have heard over the years be told by different groups of, of, you know, similar make, you know, groups of adventurers. How many of those groups have come and gone? <laughs> How many of them still live? Yeah, because, you know, um, a lot. there's still the problem <laughs> um, here, so. At least a oh, hundred. You've, you've, uh, <laughs> for, you personally um, have seen... Uh, like a couple handfuls of groups kind of like come and go with similar intentions. Yeah, so you see a, a look of ah, okay, on <laughs> Aranya's face, just like another one. Um, <laughs> but they their posture sort of changes. They're like, all right, well, you know, let's let's see. <laughs> so, uh, so you all think you can put an end to what's going on here? Yeah. Well, we're not. If it not happens, it that. happens. But it's not our. It's Stop like having our ourselves. Goal. We can totally no, do this. Yeah, yeah it's I not don't about, think it's not about, doubt, it's not about doubting ourselves. I guess it it's is more about, about you're doubting yourselves. No, it's more about it's not our oh. plan. But if yeah, we do yeah. it, yeah. it's not right. really a problem per se. Yeah. So, that, wasn't but, the, that wasn't the question. The question was, do we think we can do it? And the answer. Was nobody yes. thought about. Nobody thought about it. To be honest. Well, sort of hoping it doesn't well, well, we did kill one of the Dark Eight, so... We did! That's yeah, true. Kill. See? What? Oh, that I means nothing to you. Is that impressive? Around, yeah. Okay. The Dark Eight <laughs> means nothing to you. The Dark Eight could be like a... Like yeah, a, just a, boy, like just a boy band. A restaurant <laughs> chain. Oh my god. And it's, as, it's as they like say this. that, Cass, you just scared your head. Hopefully this one goes a bit better than that went. Yeah. Hmm. We should go, though. We should go before he comes back. That's an excellent idea. All right. Um, uh, I guess let's go then. Um, I'm Aranya, by the way. You can call me Cass. I'm a Lazarin. I'm I'm Davian. <laughs> it's nice, also, it's nice to meet uh, you all. we have a friend Daigon, but she's in my head. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> okay. She's oh, I'm... only only yeah. for now. Yeah, I'll be out I'll, I'll, I'll be out later when it's not a possible hindrance. It's I fine. wanna I feel like I wanna clarify and say that Kes isn't mad, but <laughs> she closed, so we She is a little her. in this specific circumstance, she's not like hearing voices. You'll see in a bit. Uh I'm Brooks and this is Jax. Alright, uh let's uh go then before he comes back down, because that won't be fun. I mean, he'll still be my friend, so... He's the only one you've got. But he how, long, how long does Charm Person last? He comes back an hour. 
Oh my god, oh yeah, my god, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was like a minute or ten minutes. Yes, I thought as well no. it's an hour. Pfft, okay, no, you're, chilling. you're chilling. You can you can chill for like an hour if you wanted to. <laughs> it's like a short rest, bro. Uh... You just did. Yeah, you already took one. Uh, other than okay. the fact that you were bound, by the way, Aranya, you you weren't hurt. Like he didn't. Like, okay. It, no torture. No like hitting. No no cutting. You you just got captured and bound. That's it. You haven't been physically harmed in any way. Okay. Cool. Cool. So yeah, uh, the only gear you see them grab is a uh, quiver. A quiver that looks surprisingly like the quiver Davian has. Ooh, a yeah, rather but it's all efficient ravened out quiver. and cool. But all ravened <laughs> out and cool. But yeah, it, uh, yeah, similar <laughs> similar vibe, uh, Davian. Mm. I want them I'm to have, like the ranger off. <laughs> where are we off to? Out. Would I would any would I know of any significant locations where a prisoner um, might be? Yes, but or? for the party, um, we go into. We had a couple different directions we could go. You I were think. told uh, the the places where you had to find certain artifacts, yeah. and the mm -hmm. closest by artifacts you were told is in the Blue Water Inn in a town called Falaki. Pretty sure. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's um, right. That's all the way out there. That is that is the closest by. Um, like, like, objective, I guess, uh, from here. Yeah, because the amulet is right under the castle, so that's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, <laughs> Go straight there. <laughs> yeah, skip, sword. Skip the, skip the build up. Just the boss fight. Yeah, sword, sword at Blue Water in town called Velaki. Yeah. Follow yeah. road on the way to Berez, which yeah. is also Berez is where the master of the marsh dude is. Mm -hmm. That was also a thing we were told. That was a clue. Yeah, so Valaki kind of lies at the camera. halfway point there. Yeah. Uh, if you follow the roads, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. That, that's just for your like memory, for to refresh your memory. Um, that yeah. is kind of the, mm -hmm. the general direction where you were told to, to go. Valaki. There we go. <clears throat> all right. I guess so. Okay. So you you all leave the burgomaster's house the same way you came in. I'm assuming you're not gonna go mm. to the yeah. front door. Yeah. And yeah. Those cars. No, because the other <laughs> dudes would be there and be like, "The fuck yeah. is happening?" Like, okay. Hello. So you. If uh, you all tell me like places, I can probably guide pretty well. Yeah. Most likely, just for like navigational purposes. <laughs> we're uh, we're headed to Verlaki. We have a map. We do. Mm -hmm. Do we do? Yep. yep. Oh, I didn't prepare my thing. How dare you? <laughs> what is even the point of you? Falaki, uh, Aranya, you know, know is from, from where you are now. Falaki is... Uh, but I just wanted to say this on stream real quick. I, I found mm. a... Uh, turns out that the, what I thought were like the, the scaling of the map of Barovia was very wrong. The map looks very huge, but the, the distances between are very short. Uh, oh, okay. But somebody, like some D and D nerd, made a fucking spreadsheet where you can like type in starting location, type in destination <gasps> within Barovia, and just calculates how many hours it takes to get there. That's so um, cool. So Valaki is roughly a six I love Valaki is roughly a six-hour walk if you travel at a normal pace. Okay. Oh, where you are. So if oh, some but, time. Ooh, we need to avoid that encampment though. We Unless we want to get into a fight. <laughs> And it can't just sounds like a lot of people, man. <laughs> you don't know? You have no idea. We do I'm already, like I'm already down to spell slots. Uh, like, do you show we, we Aranya like this fight. map by any chance? Sure. Uh, sure, yeah, when we're heading out, it's sure that we're um, trying to get into Velakli, I suppose. You you look Velakli. at the map, Aranya, and it is um pretty like well filled in. This is definitely one of the more complete maps of the area you you you've seen these advent like adventurers that you have come in contact with uh, carry around. Um, wow. And you you know you recognize a lot of places that are marked. Um, yeah, but yeah, you know that this is roughly a six-hour trek to get to Valaki from here. Mm -hmm. you know, traveling well, by where road. Where did you get uh, this map? This is impressive. Um, I believe the barkeep had it. Yeah, a barkeep we... had this complete of a map of Barovia. We yes. proved that we were somewhat not bad people. Huh. Way to make us sound good, Brooke. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie to them. Like, you know, out the gate. I mean, I, I'm trying. 
Yeah, you hear on in your head, I mean, on paper, what we did would not seem like that good. We we killed a priest's son. So when you say it like that, it sounds pretty bad. <laughs> but with context, good thing. Well, if you say anything the wrong way, it sounds wrong. Because <laughs> it's just out, talking out loud to us. I was going to say, did, did you say that out loud? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't hear voices. It's just like, um... <clears throat> Yeah, and Aranya, you also right. know by, you know, traveling this area, um, you also know that it is definitely uh, the safest to tr to follow the roads because mm. the woods and forests, um, like I said before, definitely some magic shenanigans going on and people that you know have gone into the forests were never seen again. Okay. Yeah, I'll, if anyone tries at any point to like, That's fair. let's take a shortcut, I will discourage. <laughs> <laughs> Jax. Hey, I didn't, prepare that. I, I didn't prepare that today, right? We're good. Go. Well, besides the shortcuts Jax pulls up, I'm mapped and reliable, yeah, yeah. you yeah, know. Super sick shortcuts, bro. Come on. Epic. Um, okay. So you leave the Burgomaster's house through the back entrance, uh, go back through the fence, and you manage to kind of make your skirt around the edges of Barovia without uh, raising any like, alarm or suspicion to the point where you get to the road that leads west, uh, out of Barovia, into the province properly. Uh, what was just, anything you would like to do before you uh, head on out? Mm, no. <clears throat> I think just so. Start traveling. I don't think so. Maybe... I'll keep Onu flying overhead and... <laughs> Daigon, you want to come out and say hello? I'll, I'll, I'll cat tell Cass. I'll wait till we're <laughs> properly on the road and out of the city. She's feeling shy for now, so she's gonna stay inside my head. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, trust. Uh, Technically, I'm in your whole body, not just your head. <laughs> but it, it feels like you're just in my head. That's fair. Do you talk out loud when you do that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> she's leaning fully into the uh, the crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I promise. Uh, for the not. sake of uh, this. Um, the, the paths are pretty, like, wide, so there's no need to kind of, like, squeeze together. But is the, can I get somewhat of a marching order? Uh-oh. Uh, Aranya will probably be somewhat I... in the middle. As will no, I. I'm... I'll no, go up front, I guess. <laughs> no. And keeping a watchful oh, no. eye for danger. Danger. Uh, where are you? Where do you want to be, uh, Aranya? Front or back? Toward the front. front. So, yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah. Aranya knowing the area and Jax having the map. Uh, those two will be uh, in front, I suppose. Um, I'll be behind them. Okay. Hear that back, boy. I'll just I'll be wherever Kess is after we're on the road and I come out. All right. Kind of middle-ish. I'll um, hang around back line with uh, Laszlo then. Paul wants to be in the middle, but I'll take up the back. Well, I mean, <laughs> you got pushed to the back, basically. There's a front row. <laughs> then there's Diagon and Kess. Then there's me and you, then there's a, uh, Davian. Unless you want to make it weird and like a two, I said three, it, no, one, I said I would be behind like... Aranya and Jax, what? Yeah. I I heard you say behind. Okay, I guess I'm bringing Yeah, you behind them. Back. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll be next to Davian. <laughs> um, as you're I traveling the first half hour or so, um... Oh, what, so I'll, I'll show up at that point. I'll okay. leave Kess and, and, and... What does it look like? Aranya. When you do that. Does, exactly. Like... So I, you just see, I guess, like me, literally, like it's like rise up out of cast. You just see this glowing spectral tabaxi, and it's like a, a very subtle, faint blue glow. Like I'm not like emitting light for like you know ten feet or anything. Just my immediate. Just five like, feet. Just five. Did anyone warn that five. this was happening? Hold on. Let me. If, if she's about I'll to come tell out, you exactly what it looks like. When um... she's about to come out, if she warns me, then you'll just hear Cass go incoming. <laughs> <laughs> it says that uh, yeah it's five you're right five feet five feet of oh dim, radius oh, oh radius dim so, light yeah. i i give up a cold glow equal to dim light for a five feet so five it's only feet dim light though it's not me. bright light it's yeah. dim light so mm, it's it's just dim light. Yeah. we have a night light yeah, yeah exactly. i'm a night light um so yeah you'll hear cassie just kind of go incoming and then suddenly this <laughs> this this spectral tabaxi just like and then I'll just like come up and then like a light on the ground, like I'm standing and walking on the ground next to her. like I don't float yet. <laughs> yet. I'll just <laughs> We'll get there. Oh my wow. Hello. Hi. So she's she's not crazy. 
there, there's no voice in her head. It was me. She is crazy. Just just not in that way. You guys thought there's I was crazy. one less voice in her head. Which means thought. No. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I wasn't always like this. Um, but but I. She died a... recently. I like I'm, very recently. I'm sorry very for recently. your loss. Nah, or, she's still here. It's not much loss. Fine. Just the We're body good. isn't. So it's it's complicated. You know, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, there are pros and cons. <laughs> As you're walking, can I get a uh, perception check from the people in front? So Jax and Aranya. Can I own him because he's math? flying ahead, uh, up above or no? Yeah, sure. 19. 19? 17. Yeah, yeah, like ranger v Ranger, let's go. Yeah. Well, it's, oh, it's Onu v Ranger, but... And Onu is not paying attention. Wait. Um, okay. Oh. I got a five. Runners were not even oh. rangers. No, they no. aren't. No, wait, wait, hold on. I was like, wait, hold on. I mean, you know, you'll find out. You'll find out what they're about. They, they're wearing a quiver. So, you yeah, know, the ranger assumption quiver, isn't baseless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. uh, what did it might be a, a, a fighter. Sorry? What did Onu roll just for my... Uh, five. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, Onu, uh, not much. Um, a lot of mist. Jax and Aranya, you both kind of hear... A raven as it flies by and it lands on Aranya's shoulder. And uh, Aranya, mm -hmm. um, you hear a voice in, 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 in your head coming from the raven that nobody else hears. Um, and I would like everybody to deafen real quick. Like oh, the ten you seconds. Bitch. Ten seconds. Whoa. Same. Whispers. Virtual whispers. whispers. Virtual whispers. Uh, you hear a voice, the voice of um, your, your, you know, your, your master, your champion, stating that um, accompany them for now. They might prove useful. And then the raven hmm. flies off. Okay. It was just a quick one, guys. It was just a quick one. So hey. when does the and you dragon see the, come you see the raven oh, and then fly us. off again after a few seconds of being on, on their shoulder? This is the fucking raven queen being like, yeah, by the way, stab them. <laughs> Don't trust them. Uh, uh, the raven cast just kind of... Oh, Killed yeah, you're with the raven right. queen, right? The fortune teller told us something along those lines or something. I don't remember. Something cryptic. She it would go with the feathers. Oh, uh, mm. Yes, I... Yes, I suppose you could say I am. What's she like? This be good. <sighs> Cryptic and not always the easiest to get along with, but she serves a purpose. It sounds a lot like knowing Kiss. What? Surprisingly accurate. Just shut up. You guys don't I know what say Kes is cryptic. Kes always says exactly what she's thinking. It's just no, the way no, no. Yes, but she hides a billion think, secrets and but the way we think just doesn't match the way she thinks. So it's feeling, but it's actually the most like probably honest and clear of most people's communication. You th you can't tell no me you think Kes is honest ever... and clear. <laughs> yeah, no one has ever accused me of being honest. Accused? <laughs> you have to remember where she's from, like. It's causing weird. chaos. Mischief and lies is in her background. And my gods. <laughs> oh yeah, Sorry. like if you've if you've only got the one deity, like you're doing okay. She's <clears throat> if she play if she paid tithes, she'd be poor. Alright. Judge. <laughs> yes. I don't know what that means. Arani has a quiver? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. But did I see a bow? Did I see a weapon? Uh, Arania. It's a quiver. Do, do you, do you a have, quiver. Are you carrying any, any weaponry? Yeah. I do have um my... Do I have two daggers? I just have one dagger, I guess. Um. Oh, no. I lied. I have two daggers at each, like one at each hip. But uh, other than that, you just see the quiver. And I, I mean, I'm walking like behind them. Mm -hmm. So, can I like get a 
closer look. I mean, what's in the quiver? You know, He's just uh, I know it's like right a, it's a magic quiver, so I can't exactly like. Well, but uh, like you you don't see anything what's in the, the quiver, vibe? Uh, because of the way the quiver works. Technically, they're all pocket dimensions, right? So you can't see anything sticking mm -hmm. out. It's just an empty quiver, yeah. same as yours would be. Can I use my magic rod to cast detect magic and just see what kind of magic items uh, Rania <laughs> might have on them? On. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, yes, you can. Uh, you whip out your rod and uh, hey. cast okay. detect magic. Hey. <laughs> Not the and you, first time. yeah, you definitely That's met. You get no several. Has been had you get yet. several magic blips. What about in game though? Coming off Aranya. Uh, how many There's magical items do you carry, Aranya? Um. So. Can I say what would be like glowing? Uh, just yeah, just or whatever. How how many yeah, magic items sense. are you are you are you carrying? I'm just using uh, five thousand twenty seven. <laughs> He's actually uh, made of four. unlimited magic. Four. So you get four, four different like magical blips coming off of them. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> um. I have stuff for Christopher to steal for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, roughly two hours, two hours uh, on your uh, walk. You get, you know, you cross a bridge uh, that goes over a river and you eventually get to a crossroads. Um, when leaving the village, um, you travel the road southwest, cross a bridge over the river Ivlis. Um, river flows as clear as a blue winter sky through the valley. Eventually, after about two hours of travel, you get to a crossroads and you see an old wooden gallows creaking in a chill wind that blows down from the high ground to the west. A frayed length of rope dances from its beam. Uh, the well-worn road splits here and a signpost opposite the gallows points off in three directions. Barovia Village to the east, Sir Pool to the northwest, and Ravenloft slash Valaki to the southwest. The northwest fork slants down and disappears into the trees, and, uh, and while the southwest fork clings to an upward slope. Across from the gallows, you see a low wall crumbling in places, partially enclosing a small plot of graves shrouded in fog. That's a real good omen. <laughs> so we're going that way? Uh, well, I suppose we should go southwest, no? Yeah. That is the way that's... Just to go, is there. Uh, looking at the map as well, what you see is <clears throat> the road that goes um, <clears throat> that goes through the woods. So the one that branches yeah. off, um, you know, that goes past the Sir Pool, as the signpost indicates, would be a bit of a shorter travel. The the southwest road, granted, it's indicated that that heads to Valaki. You see on the map that the roads kind of meet again after you kind of go yeah. around the forest. Um, the southwest road involves a bit of a climb, and you have to like scale, uh, like climb up a slope on some higher cliffs. Um, so that would take a bit longer. But, uh, We're also told to avoid the encampment that we know is near Sir Pool, correct? You were told the encamp that the, the encampment, encampment belongs houses. to the Vistani, and the Vistani oh. are people that generally uh, are Strahd's spies. Sick. Um. I mean... <laughs> Jack's noises. <laughs> yeah, Jack's noises. just breaking. <laughs> I was just going to say, I think the southwest, while taking longer, would be the safer route. I mean, how much longer is longer? Uh, well, I don't know. It's I don't think it's such a climb. delay that going through the woods is worth it. Who's that for This one's giving me the fucking creeps. I mean, As they should. So we're following the road then? Yo. Yes. Right. Well, they were both roads. They just oh branched off. One path takes yeah, yeah, you I mean... through some woods. Like, you kind of, you see it. You can it's see one it of them a yellow brick road. To the woods. And then you can see it kind of like continues uh, along the river that you just crossed. And then the other road takes you up a slope. And you kind of like go up some cliffs. I kill But they're both roads. They're not like you're not going into the wilderness either or either path you would take. Too um, close for comfort. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh, as you go to leave the area, trying to you all hear a creaking noise behind you coming from the gallows. 
where there was nothing before now hangs a lifeless body. Oh, I uh, need that. I need all of you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, oh I'm notoriously good at these as Brooks. I think I have advantage. Like, Hold on. Is this I did good. okay? Is it first of is all? It is a it a spell? spell? No. No. It's not it's a spell. Two. We've been through this before. Oh. Is it hot damn. Item? Natural twenty. Thank goodness, because Same. I have a plus zero. <laughs> uh, Twenty-four. Fifteen. Twenty-three total with a natural twenty for me. Oh, we got lots of good ones. In just a moment. I rolled a sixteen for my twenty-four. Kind of cringe, actually. Uh, Bell asked if it was a charm effect. It's not. No. Okay. No, yeah, we know what this is. We've been here before. Terrified, probably. Or... I just have to double check. It's on this rodeo. Gaslight, gatekeep. Uh, your so give me the rolls again. <laughs> just one by one by one. I think 15 was the lowest. 15 no. was the lowest? By no, who? no, it was not. Oh, who? What? I, I have an 11. I think okay. maybe Brooks and me are the only people below 20. Yeah, okay. the rest are yeah. all. Yeah. So everyone, you look and you see this like lifeless gray body of just a Vistani, you would imagine. But for Brooks, you see yourself hanging from the gallery. Oh. And you lose cool. a point of sanity. Cool. Mm, baby. Oh. Is, that two? is that two for you? That's one. That's one. Oh. Oh, that's two. Oh. So everybody, you all see this like gray, very old, uh, like it's been there a while. It seems that it's been hanging there for a while. Um, corpse, just hanging, kind of like blowing back and forth in the wind. As you kind of all look back uh, at it, uh, hold on, I keep scrolling to and from my fucking document. Um, <laughs> The breeze kind of turns the hanged figure slowly so that it can fix its dead eyes upon you. Um, and it just kind of swings, sways there back and forth, left to right. Uh, everyone, you just see this like st random gray corpse. Except for Bruce, you, nice, see, but... you see yourself hanging from the gallows. Um, <laughs> can we Sorry. do anything to like cut it down? Would that matter? Yeah, because I just want to. I... Try. How far? Did anyone uh, notice a disturbance in Brooks's? Uh, yeah, with my Brooks passive, like, it, how do you say, my react? Passive Brooks? insight when I see shit. Yeah, uh, when I see shit with my passive insight. Let me figure insight. this out. Fuck you. Like, how would Brooks uh, react to seeing himself hang from a set of, from from a, from you know from the gallery? He just doesn't say anything and doesn't move and just stares at it. Mm. Okay. Uh, what's your passive insight? Uh, uh twenty-one. Eighteen. So you can. I feel Fringe. like with a 21, I'll say that you, uh, Brooks, Brooks definitely fun. seems a little more That's just scary. disturbed compared to you guys. You guys are all kind of like, you know, should we take mm. it down? What's going on? And Brooks is just standing there. Like he's standing still staring at it. So you definitely tell something's up. Put my, I put my hands on shoulders. I say, Brooks, you're okay. To try and sort of like snap him out of it. Oh, his like thousand yards stare. Brooks. <laughs> And I'll start like fucking just clicking in front of his face. It's like, what? Hey, you're right. You were. Uh... Yeah, no, I'm fine. He was yeah. sort of staring at the. Uh... Yeah, this this place is fucked. What that... is happening? It's so good. Everything fine. Uh, so that's nothing. You just check in, okay? Just you know. Just keep moving. So you 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 think I'd be the one who'd react the most poorly to this? That's <laughs> surprising. Yeah, you got the new traumas. That's old news, right? <laughs> There's gonna be plenty yeah. more of that where we're going. When we yeah, see we'll a big, that. when we so, see a big demon fucker moving. crush someone, then you'll while, be. While while yeah. everyone else is fucking around with this body or figuring out what they're gonna do, I'm just gonna root around in my bag for a couple of minutes. Okay, I'm about to get some drink. <laughs> is anyone else doing I mean, anything I'm, while Brooks is rooting? I, 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 I wanted to try and climb up and cut it down. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm watching Brooks. How long has the body been there? Uh, well, you swear it wasn't there when you approached it. It just yeah. kind of, it's, you, you it didn't, didn't see it. it. But when you left, you suddenly heard a creak and then you turned back and then suddenly it was there. But the body itself looks like it's been there for a while. Like it looks like it's been dead for a while. Uh, as, um, I don't know. Is there any good stuff to, to try and cut it down? I'm just gonna be like, you're probably, you're probably best not to touch it. I mean, I don't I mean, have to, to cut it down, to be fair. Something stronger than a stiff breeze, that thing's probably going to turn into a puddle. And I don't think anyone, any Ooh. one of us wants to deal with that. Or just disappear. I'd leave it where it is. Just vanish. 
It's not like we're going to bury it. And mm. the stench alone that's going to come out of that thing, if it is real, I, I, I'm, it's not worth it. Let's just move on. I suppose. Mm. And they'll just go to continue walking along. All right. As you, uh... Uh, Brooks, are you are you done rooting around in your bag or? Oh, he's absolutely like trying to sneakily take a drink. Uh, as you leave, you can kind of hear the creaking still of the corpse, and it, uh, as you kind of look back, you can see that it's kind of like following you, like the its its gaze is just constantly following oh. where you're where you're headed. Um, nice. Until eventually, <laughs> like you, you're taking the southwest road that scales some like cliffs and shit, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, until it. You know, the spear's out of sight. All right. So you're heading that way. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Oh. Okay. Um, you start traveling, and you, you climb this, like, slope. And you can see... Uh, when you get to a certain bend, you kind of have a vision over the woods, and you can see down towards where the river is, and a small lake, uh, you can see this encampment. And you can see fires going, you can see uh, uh, ten or so figures uh, seemingly dancing around the fire, having drinks. Uh, this is revelry going on. You can see eight horses uh, drinking water from the river uh, as, you, as you're on the slope, kind of like overlooking it all. Um, so that's the encampment. That's... Uh, you would have hit if you take the other road because you see that the other path kind of crosses directly through that camp. Um, yeah, uh, you're just gonna keep going. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, as you keep going, uh, slope gets you know steeper and steeper, um, but eventually you get around another another bend. Um, and you can feel it's definitely getting a lot colder now. Uh, you're pretty high up. Uh, you, kind of, you can kind of see like fog kind of like forming all around you. And it's, it's a very cold mist. Um, Jackson, Aranya, you're still ahead of the pack, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, both of you make a perception check for me. With disadvantage because of the mist. Rude. I rolled good. Um, okay. I not roll good. Damn, that went from a 23 to an 8. Same, except I went from a 23 to a 12? Yeah, 12. Sorry. 12 and an 8? Mm -hmm. mm hmm. Okay. Real per perceptive. Reminder I can't be surprised. Mm. <laughs> not surprising. No, me neither. Davian. Forehead. <laughs> You <laughs> look ahead, and you don't see it until it's too late. But flying oh, at cool. you, uh, there's this, this group of six winged creatures, and they come very close before you can really make out a shape. These look like stone gargoyles, but they're animated. And they're circling, cool. surrounding you. I would like you all to roll initiative. Oh, yeah! Yay! Don't have Sick. a map for this because this was like a randomly rolled encounter that I didn't prepare a map for. So we're gonna have to use theater of mind for this oh, one. But and my, again, my roll back to my today. garbage initiative. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Well, I didn't give anyone but Jill. Just get another nat yeah. twenty, Brian. No, but... I rolled the. I got an at one. Cool. That's right. You still I don't form an initiative. You're fine. No, it's okay. <laughs> Guys, you know how I roll with advantage initiative? Let me really kooky and great if I roll the same low number. Let me fucking oh, crazy. Yeah, that's bro. what you do, Koiba. That'd, That'd be crazy. Literally, what you Literally do. Crazy on two different Look. dice. I roll the same number. Laura rolls. Low and shitty. Laura always comes last initiative. That's crazy. Uh, excuse you. No, it's usually me in this campaign. This campaign, sure. I have a buffer because of Jax's negative. So I'm usually <laughs> second yeah. last. Laura, Hello, rolls are canceled out by my negative. Laura decks. normally goes unconscious first. True. Uh, Koiba rolls tw two of the same number. Fucking With advantage, Bell I roll two low numbers. This is one I roll two high numbers. Bell cheats. I got six, uh, dude. Duke, uh -huh. Duke yeah. misses all his attacks. so much yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I was just doing stuff I was good at, okay? 
Same. True. Plus, True. plus 22 to stealth. All right, initiative's 20 plus. 30, 20. Uh-oh. Oh, oh God, that is a saving grace. <laughs> I think no one's gonna say anything for a little while here. Okay. 15 to 20. At least Davian did good. Oh God. <laughs> 10 to 15? 10. What? Oh, is no, no, no way. Oh no. Five to ten. Good guys. Nine. Six. Ooh, oh, two actually. nine. That's where, that's where most of us are. <laughs> okay. So who rolled nine? Hello. Uh, which one of you has the higher decks? I have a sixteen. A I have a seventeen. Lajon's oh. yeah, always beating people out with that 17, dude. Aranya. People forget, Lajon's a Dexy boy. Dagon has an 8, you said? A yeah. loser. Yes. Yeah. It's... Cass, 6? 6. Or he's squirmy. Jax? 3? <laughs> okay. On brand. That's huge. It's like <laughs> that's really, some cleric uh, shit. Really, that's everybody really on the right? Pretty sure. Rolls. Yeah. It's everybody? lots of fun. Okay. I love not. So these decks. gargoyles, they kind of split up into three pairs and kind of like surround you. Um, Davian, you're first. What would you like to do? Okay. There are three pairs of gargoyles. Are these pairs? So are there six gargoyles or are there, are there six, three pairs? There's you know six what I'm saying? Okay. So there are kind of, six potential kind of targets. Okay, um, how far away are each of these pairs? You didn't see them until they got really close uh, because of the thick okay. mist, so they're all around, like they're surrounding you, like 20 foot away max. They're, they're pretty okay. close already. Uh, first thing then, uh, I'll just pick fucking, mm. oh. And they're on the ground? Are they like... Uh, they're they're hovering, but they're at your level. Hovering above... The, yeah, so I could run up and melee attack one if I wanted to. Yeah. For example. Yeah, yeah. yeah, fuck it, dude. I'm gonna... I'll pick Gargoyle number one. Okay. Ooh, actually, will I? <laughs> no. I Gargoyle number one, I am gonna throw the Iron Bands of Bellaro at. I'm gonna make a ranged attack. Okay. Don't miss. Uh, I mean, it's a natty 19, so... That will hit, yeah. That's a 25 to hit or something. Um, that will hit. So, on a hit, it's restrained. Okay. It can try make a check in its turn, uh, using an action in its turn. So, not, not at the end of its turn, but it can so try make the check with an action. the Iron Bands of Bolaro, and they just kind of, like, expand and just wrap around this one gargoyle, and it's kind of, like, clamping its wings, causing it to kind of fall to the floor. Uh, nice. Like it drops, it doesn't take damage or anything, but it just like drops down to the floor yeah. and just kind of trying to. So, as I Google restrain 5e again, just to make sure I'm Conditions 5e, <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Yep, so now. I can change the page, bro. To follow that up, its movement speed is zero. Yeah. Can't and the move. advantage on its acts. And it, yeah. And it has disadvantage on deck saving. Yes. So there you go. Uh, bonus action. Onu's gonna swoop down and fucking eat his ass. Yeah, so, uh, Aranya, you, what you see is you see this, like, large shoebill uh, stork just descending from the sky and just, just into this, this gargoyle. The one that got restrained, you said? You're targeting? But yeah, 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 because he has advantage. Okay. So, it's a natural 18, so 23 to hit, I think. Yes, that hits. Um, four, D4 plus. What is it? Three plus three. Uh, ooh. Yeah, so ten points of damage from uh, the. That's just like bludgeoning or whatever, slashing damage, I guess. It's right? slashing, yeah. Ten points of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, and then, since they're in pairs, uh, Onu will like back away again, like ten f or. Mm, I o Onu will fly back to me actually, but still okay. sort of ground level, but. Fly back to me without getting opportunity attacked. Um, yeah, that'll be it. All right. Uh, this pair, the first pair, I'm, I just made them fold in pairs because it's easier for initiative. Yeah. So, gargoyle number one and two. So, the one that's restrained is going to try and use his action to break free, which is uh, what kind of save is that? 
a strength save. Strength save. Hopefully he don't break. Oh, that's a six. So that's not gonna fucking happen, is it? Uh, so okay, he's still so Yay! he's still restrained, and any further attempts made automatically fail. So oh, so he's, he's stuck. Now. He is stuck. He okay. is yes. stuck. That's awesome. All right, it's the second right. gargoyle is going to fly towards you. Uh, that closed that twenty foot gap, Davian, and is going to uh, multi attack you. He's gonna try and okay. bite you with his like. You can see now as it gets closer. It has this like these large stone fangs kind of sitting in his mouth, and it just opens the mouth. And you can hear just like the sound of just you know two rocks being rubbed together as, as yeah. it moves and tries to bite down on you. Uh, I say fifteen to hit. Does not hit. And then after he misses the bite, he's gonna just swipe at you with one of its uh, stone claws, with a seventeen to hit. That does hit. Okay. And I'll hit him with a fucking. In Kende! And he can make a dex save, too, while he's at it, because I'm going to fucking hellish rebuke his ass. Okay. Uh, yeah. First things first, you take... Uh, 13 points of slashing damage from the claw attack. Ouch. Um, need to make a dex save? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because you're hellish rebuking. Um, mm -hmm. how, are you, how are you looking after that? Uh, 16 Fine. dex save? 16 does save. Is that half damage? It's half damage, yeah. yeah. Okay, half damage. It's fire damage, correct? Uh, yes. This is down to... So, nine, half to four. Okay, four points of fire damage. Um, yeah, and as it kind of, like, it, it opens his mouth and it's, you know, you reckon it's going for a scream, but all you can hear is just this, like, sounds you've heard before when facing, um, certain, like, stone elementals. Just this sound of just, like, rocks being scraped together making this very very strange but not very great sound it kind of like rings your ears it's it's loud it sounds weird um that's Icky. their turns uh brooks uh fuck i mean none of them are currently flying right they're just they're, they technically are they're they're hovering above the ground yeah well you know what i mean none of uh they're flying but they're not above the ground no because they went down to come and attack you so they are you are if you walk up to any of them you'll be cool. able to melee them uh okay best hope that this is uh last fight for the day hmm. i'm gonna bonus action rage okay I'm going to run towards... if So, uh, three and four haven't moved yet, right? Correct. I'm going to run towards three and four. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to brass knuckles the fuck out of them. Uh, which one? Three or four? Uh, for the sake of your sanity, I'm going to do both on three. Okay. I, I was going to do one on each. Uh, I'm going to attack recklessly, though. Okay. Uh, oh, shit rolls. Uh, that's a 17 to hit on the first one. It's For another shit roll for eight points of bludgeoning damage. Magical bludgeoning, right? Yes. Okay. Second attack. Uh, is better, a 26. Yeah, I mean, if 17 hits a, seven, a 26 will as well. Uh, for, I, I went from a fucking, like a... Uh, nine, I think, mm -hmm. and a one on the damage die to a fucking eighteen and a six on the damage die. Okay. Uh, six plus uh, thirteen points of magic bludgeoning damage. Okay. And I think that's think. everything I can do. Fair enough. All right. In that case, uh, Elazrin. Hey, that's me. That, so that means these things also rolled low initiative. Well, mm. no, one of them already attacked. Never Large mind. stone floating statues. You know, they're not very yeah. dexterous either. So. Yeah. I will cast uh, a, 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 a spiritual weapon okay. at number four. All right. And it will swing for a 23. 23 will hit. Yeah. And then that will do 10 force damage. 10 force damage, alright. Mm -hmm. As you 
hit it with a spiritual weapon, uh, it kind of like groans again. And you recognize uh, the sound they're making to be an actual language. Um, uh-huh. This is um, a language that you've Ruh, ruh. You, you can't really explain why you understand it, but you have heard it before. Oh, oh uh, no. You make out, you're kind of listening to it, and you make out like one or two words, and it is, uh, capture them. But it is a, it's, it's Terran, which is the earth elemental language. Oh, and oh. And You can't really explain He's why, but breakdown. you somehow pick up those two words from in there. And you're not really sure how you're able to do that, but you, you recognize these two words somehow. <laughs> Oh god. Pain. Uh cool, great. Uh then I will as my action I will uh on fuck fuckhead number two. Uh number two? cast Yeah. Actually no, the one that's fucking trapped in the Nah, okay. that one's not really a big issue actually. Mm, okay. I'm thinking now. Sorry, Dutch. <laughs> no, 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 I was just like mm, uh, yeah, no, number two. I'll, I'll stick my original so decision. The one in uh, the one in Davian's face. Yeah, right? yeah, and I was sick with flame. So you need to make a deck saving throw, please. Uh, uh, that's a two for uh two. That just just fails, dude. It was <laughs> close. Oof. Damn. Man, almost had me there. Gotta uh, keep you on your toesies. Do, uh, they do nineteen points. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, like, I get extra. I get an extra D eight. Of radiant damage for me leveling up. Apparently. Oh, yeah. So, don't do that. Hell yeah. That's that my turn. turn. Yes, sir. Aranya. Okay, so question about the quicken spell. Which one? Thing. Quicken spell. Oh, let me go. From... Let me the thing you can do with your sorcery points. Yeah. Unless you use uh, your bonus action to cast an action spell. Uh, let what? me open your sheet real quick so I can have a look. So you give me, uh, give me one. So my low. question was going to be, mm-hmm. it says when you cast a spell that has a casting time of one action, you can spend two sorcery points to change the casting time to one bonus action. Yes. So does that count if, say, I were to use a cantrip that takes an action and then use my yeah. bonus action to cast a spell? Yeah, absolutely. Cantrips are okay. Cantrips are spells. All right, right. I just want because since they're not something that takes a spell slot, no, I wasn't sure just, if that's not made There are spells, yeah. but they are just a very low level spell. Therefore, you can cast them at will. Uh, you can yeah, cast no, that, a leveled spell and a cantrip in the same. I'll say, time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'll say that you can, yeah, if you want to make that uh, that that thing with the sorcery points applies to cantrips all. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so in that case, I am going to use two of my sorcery points to do that um for the cantrip i'm gonna do a chill touch on the one that is restrained okay Um, or grappled or whatever roll your attack with advantage hell yeah um let me get two died or two dice to do that with two died two died okay so 24 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. And then damage is 2d8. Right? Yes. Uh, ooh, uh, 12 damage 12 the there. Um, and then for my spell, I was going to give myself... I was going to do false life to give myself some temporary hit points. Absolutely. Um, If I can find it, I will do that and let you know what I got. I was going to go hand too, because it's for an hour, mm-hmm. so I'm going to just go ahead and do third level like a crazy person and give myself 1d4 plus 14 hit points, because why not? And uh, that's 18 1d4 temporary plus hit 14? points. Yup. Jesus so fucking Christ. <laughs> 18 temporary hit points for moi. Jesus. All right. And that's it. I will stay where I am. Okay. Dagon. Uh, so... Davian didn't. You you only attack attacked with the the bands, right? And then yeah. you, you didn't do it. Okay. Um, I I'm gonna go off next time. I'm just yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh... Pop off, bro. I have a question. I've only just thought it's about. Time it's to like, wake up. When I do my invoke smite thing, it's mm-hmm. an object I can see. 
But Tennis, mm -hmm. he has a magical quiver. Like, we don't see any of the arrows until he, like, actually does the thing. Um, uh, would I be enchanting the bow? So I'd say that like, you would enchant the bow. the bow. Yeah. yeah okay. And, like, the um, bow kind of transmits that divine energy into the arrow. Yeah. Or the, the bolt, I guess, okay. in this case, because it's a crossbow now, right? As, it, as, as, you, okay. as you fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a crossbow now. He's doing it. Okay. Yeah. Um, in that case, I will... And how far did did Brooks have to move to go attack feet. the one you attacked from us? Okay, I will go up and uh, hitchhike in Brooks's body, and you can <laughs> choose to make a save if you don't want me there. Up to you. <laughs> I will not make the save. Okay. Brooks, yeah, right. So you just look and you see this like spectral tabaxi just hop into Brooks's body and. <laughs> oh boy. And uh, it's a bonus action to. Hitchhike with someone, and then I will for my action, uh, right before I do, just again like look back towards where Davian was and kind of just like point my arm out, or like kind of do this at Davian before I, like that exact gesture, before mm -hmm. I go inside Brooks's body, and your crossbow will light up with that familiar spectral divine combo glow you that we did before. <laughs> you don't necessarily, wait, my weapon lights up. Yeah. Yeah. Just say it's on the sword. Let's say it's on the... Uh, like, just say I glow, because I'm gonna be melee attacking. And I don't think you have to specify, right? So... I, I do. So. I have to specify the specific does. object, which is why I asked. Oh, okay. Well, if the bow's the blowing, problem. I'll start I shooting. But with someone in my do. melee, I'm kind of messed up. Like... That is true. Are they in your melee? Because you dropped yeah, them out. Yeah, uh, one the of them... One the of, you yeah, the second one, one ran over oh. and attacked me. Attacked Davian. Yeah. So... You, so... <clears throat> And you do see the sword uh, hanging from Davian's side, so that you okay. can. Okay. I'll, I'll if, you... if, if it's right there, okay. Then we'll yeah, say, we'll okay, 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 we'll say, like, because on it, one of the first things I thought was, I'm gonna run up and start slicing my sword. We'll say Davian's got the ha his hand on the hilt of his yeah. sword. Also, like, I didn't right realize now. that it fell yeah. that close. I thought you, like, hit them with the bands. No, it one, one, one they're in pairs. One is restrained on the floor, the other yeah. one ran over to me. Okay, okay, yeah. got you. Then, yeah. yeah, we'll do. So your sword lights up with that. Like, it's almost like it shifts from the cold, more blue glow that I give off to a more golden radiant glow. Uh, and like back and forth. And then I will be hitchhiking with Brooks in the okay. meantime. Nice. Alrighty. Uh, the pair of gargoyles, um, one of them that, ha that Brooks went into melee with is just going to try and multi-attack Brooks, bite first and then um, claw at him. There is no try. He's gonna hit. But, um, <laughs> he has 20. advantage. I attacked recklessly. Oh, you did do that. Uh, that's twenty-one. To hit I should not. I shouldn't have said anything. I, uh, yeah, that hit. You this. Uh, and for yeah, the claw attack, it. it's also with advantage, right? So the claw attack is a nineteen to hit. Oh yeah, every attack against me until my next turn's at advantage. Oh, no, it's time to kill Brooks. Okay. Um. The. I have made a mistake. <laughs> yes. Yes, you have. <laughs> I uh, know because well, like, there's a thing I could do. Damage. Well, no, because there was a there was another plan, but now I'm like, oh, I get immediately. I can only do it once. I'll get immediately bounced out. So this might be very short lived, but mm -hmm. um, it's seven fine. only seven points of uh, piercing damage from the bite, so half to three. Um, okay. Uh, so three. Yeah, three. Which means one for Diagon. Which means one for Diagon because the rage. Yeah, because it's, it's already it's damage have... taken, right? Yeah. So okay. Okay. Half of the damage taken, and Brooks only takes three. So one point of damage to Diagon. And yeah. for the claw attack uh, is oh, 12, half to six. So six points of damage to Brooks and three for Diagon. Yeah, so I've taken four total. It's okay. but a flesh wound. The other gargoyle uh, is you the one that got flesh. spiritual weaponed. Mm -hmm. Is going to fly towards you, Alasrin. Is it leaving my melee? They were next to each other? Um... Uh... I don't think you were a melee with both. You went, ran up to the third one. I said they paired up. Yeah, sure, but not, they're not. I, like I mean, I assumed they were next to each other. No, but... they're not into the asshole. It's just for for my for for turn management. I decided to pair them. Okay, with that's fine. Um, so this one's gonna fly up to Laszlo. Um, the bite is a twenty-two to hit. Yeah, that hits. The claws an eighteen to hit. That misses. Right, so the bite hits. So you take. Uh, seven points of piercing damage. Seven? Seven, seven, seven. And that is its turn. Kes. Seven, nine. 
Which ones look healthiest? I mean, they all look pretty good, still. Okay, I'm gonna go for the one that is closest to Brooks and Daigon. Okay. And cast bonus action Hex. Yes. On it. What's uh, what saving throw do you want them to have? Uh, is it skill check? Whatever. What's that? Are you picking for the Hex? I just do it. Yeah, but what stats do you want to give them? Oh, oh, uh, I'm going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about the second part of that. Um... Mm -hmm. It has the ability... It has disadvantage on ability checks. Yeah. Yeah. What, what ability checks does Strength. people in melee with Br uh, Brooks often have to do? <laughs> Intelligence-based. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> uh, strength, sure. Let's do okay. that. Okay. Watch them be super dexterous and use acrobatics. I mean, Dex is the one I was going to go for but... until you were like, do strength. Anyway. I never said okay, strength. strength. Fuck you. Um... And then I'm going to fire Eldritch Blasts at it. Eldritch, please. Two beams. Just... We're like a dysfunctional yeah. family. Wave attacks. No. Okay. The first one is a 19. Hits. The second one is a dirty 20. Also hits. Okay, so that is... For the first one, uh... 12, force damage, three thunder. Oop, that didn't go in the train. Four necrotic. Okay. And the second one, 10, force damage, and four necrotic. Yes, yeah, so you, four, you blast this gargoyle with two Elders Blasts. You can see, like, the and like bits of stone kind of being blasted from him. Uh, he starts to crack and crumble a little bit. Uh, part of its, like, shoulder just completely disintegrates. Uh, yeah, this one is not looking too good anymore. Yay! Uh, and that's it. <laughs> uh, the final two gargoyles. Um, one of them is going to fly towards Aranya, and one of them is going to fly towards Jax. Rude. So the one that's going to attack Aranya is going to, you know, bite and claw. Uh, a 15 to hit for the bite. Miss. A 17 to hit for the claw. God damn it. So that hits? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you manage to duck down and the, you can you can hear the just like the, the strength. They're clunky. On which the, 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 the two like jaws like clamp down and you manage to just duck under it. But then as you duck down, you can see it, one of its claws just coming directly for your face and just <laughs> wait, you know, like an uppercut kind of fashion. Uh, for ooh, 13 right. points of slashing damage. Slashy, slashy. Mm -hmm. Okay. 13, um, you said? 13, yes. And then Jax, uh, you were going the same treatment, so a bite and a, a claw. You don't have to do that, that's cool. Uh, bite is a <laughs> natural 19, so 21 to hit. That does not hit. It can only hit you with a natural 20, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. that's he's a, he's an old man, just leave him alone. Basically, you will not hit me in this fight. That's a natural one. So oh, he bites, okay. and you, you just kind of like, he clamps down on your armor, and you manage to just kind of like push him away. And then he goes for the claw, and it just boom, onto onto your, the side <laughs> of your armor, and just you can see like part of his finger like crumble because of it. But yeah, it's not it's not getting through. <laughs> uh, and it is now your turn, Jax, and you have one of them just like all up in your grill. So yeah, like is there bitch. okay? I'm having trouble visualizing, but you probably have it better in your mind. Mm -hmm. Is there a way that I can place a 10-foot radius spell to hit multiple of them? Uh, yeah, because you and Aranya were kind of all at the front. Mm -hmm. So, um, and Davian was pretty close behind you, and he has one in his face. So you can get those three in a 10-foot in a radius. Sick. Then I'm going to cast Shatter. Ooh! Isn't that... Which... We'll do double damage to these. What's the wording on shatter? Does it also affect allies or is it... Well, it will affect allies. So oh, if... I, am I going to hit people? Uh, Davian. You're going to hit me? You're going to hit Davian yeah. and Aranya, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. It's kind of worth it, guys. <laughs> it's kind of worth it, guys. Is it a deck save? No, it's a con Imagine save. the first Even fight... Worse. <laughs> The w the Conti first fight with our new ally and yeah, the murder. Murder. you're it's already damaging. Murder. It's kind of it. worth it, guys. It's Stop. worth it. It's worth it. Okay. When did you become? I know. I know um, why it's worth it. So good. Don't worry. Yeah. It's it's. Do it. it, it, you, you can't save. So. Okay. You just have to beat a sixteen. Watch <laughs> all the gargoyles save, and me and Rani and me and Rani get fucked. 
None of them saved. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't save. I didn't I save. <laughs> no one saves, including the gargoyles. Okay. Ooh. So, you two take... Oh, my God. No. Um, 21 uh -oh. points of uh, thunder damage. So and you, the gargoyles you, take 42. So, you fucking hear Jax just shatter the ground and this, like, shockwave kind of, like, erupts. And you kind of get, like, blasted by it as well. But you can see that these three gargoyles have it much rougher than you. One of them, their arm flies off. And, and the one in front of you, Davian, instantly turns mm. to dust. Just mm. crumbles and turns to dust. Uh, right. The one in front right. of uh, Aranya and Jax uh, partially begin to crumble. <gasps> uh, but are still up, but very barely. Can I uh, use a reaction to this um, for absorb elements? Uh, what does that do? Let me, give me have a look real quick. It lets me apply that elemental damage that I took damage from to my next attack. I believe. Pog. That is cool. Yeah, is, is shatter elemental damage technically? Uh, it's thunder damage, so I don't yeah. know. Yes. That's yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 100%. Okay, so then let me just double check. Capture some of incoming energy, lessening its effect on you. So does that mean I take less damage, or? Uh, it where is it? Is it a character? Thing. Like, is it a feature, or like, what is it? It's what? a spell. Absorb elements. Uh, spell, absorb um, elements. You have resistance to the triggering. Yeah, you have resistance yeah. to the triggering. So you take half damage, damage of what you, so, Oh, yeah. 20... So you take 10 damage. You take 10, 10 damage. damage. 21. So I, how much do I put back then? Because I already took... 10. Took 21. 11. 11. So 11, 11 you yeah. yourself for 11, yeah. Okay. Mm, absorb elements. You have thunder. I'm going to do it at third it level. So, so My next attack, I'll have 3d6 thunder damage. 3d6 thunder damage. That you, holy fuck, that's sick. <laughs> My God. That's so fucking cool. Holy fuck. <laughs> I, okay. on the other hand, am bloodied. <laughs> You um, see Aranya like glance over her shoulder oh, at whoever just did oh. that and like kind of smile snarl because she's see getting this, like, ready to pull out elderly, her rapier and her dagger. This, like, old Verdalkin still has his like fist on the ground. You can see like the, the, the ground erupting around it and, and just kind of looks at you and realizes what he's done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna back away slowly. <laughs> or... Actually, like, you, know what, you know when you're like, like trying to ignore like, it, like something like that you just like you know you just fuck something up. You're like, oh, you know, it's uh, nice <laughs> sunset. Um, Is that your turn, uh, Soko? Uh, okay. The one next to me. Mm -hmm. Is it, it? It's still alive, correct? Barely, but yes. Does this do damage? Hold on. Picked up something new. I gotta look at it real quick. Me. Sorry, this is what happens when I switch around all my infusions all the time. Life of an artificer. Uh. All right, Mr. Lipton. Oh, never mind, never mind. It doesn't actually, I can't use that as a bonus action, apparently. The, I didn't unless get it I either. Took that Quite as a don't worry. feature? No, no, I got it. But isn't it Twining's infusions, not Lipton infusions? Lipton also do infusions, actually. Okay. Uh, I'll just use my bonus action to activate my defensive field for. Twining uh, to move Twining. Okay. And then that's my turn. All right. Davian, you're up again. Your sword is glowing. Uh, the, the the one in front of me is just exploded, yeah. right? Yeah. As mm -hmm. fucked up as I might be. All right. I'm running over to the one that is uh, restrained. Okay. I'm going to just start fucking hacking with my magic sword, I guess. Yeah. With advantage because yeah. it's uh, restrained. Sick yeah. little cutlass. Well, first one's a 19. Second one's a 15, so. It's... Yeah, uh, right. So, the Frostbrand Scimitar, it's going to take an extra d6 damage. It's also going to take... I should have... I should, nah, I didn't need to answer the market, actually. And how much Radiant? It takes six points of Radiant damage. Just a flat six points, okay. Yeah, I rolled two threes on my 2d8. Oh, I just oh, rolled double sixes. Wait, am I... I think my Aspect Modifier also comes into play. Let me check. I think so, yeah. I think it's uh... your... No, 1d8 radiant damage increases by 1d8 at 6th level. No, it's just 2d8. Oh, so yeah, okay. 6 points. So, 9 points of magical slashing damage, 6 points of cold damage, 6 points of radiant damage. So, 21 total. Nice. Yeah, it's, um, uh, it's looking is pretty... That uh... for one, is that for one attack, Laura? 
the radiant damage is only on the first. It's the next attack made with that thing. Yeah. Okay. So the object. The, the, the so... radiant light kind of uh, uh, fizzles out from your sword. Uh, second attack is fucking coming though. Mm -hmm. Um, and that is a, a natural fifteen plus six, so twenty-one to hit. With advantage. Four. So yeah, that minutes? was with advantage. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That hits regardless. The highest fifteen. Yeah. You do try for the uh, next oh, but that is only one point of cold damage and five points of magic slashing damage. Okay. Uh, it's looking pretty rough. Definitely starting to break down. Well, bonus action. Here comes the Onu, so... The beard. Like, embrace yourself, bitch. Because that is a four. <laughs> Real advantage? <laughs> Yeah, we could go with the nat one. I mean... <laughs> okay, yeah, no, that misses, <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah. Could Great you. Great show, no you. bitch. For O to fucking um, smack your stone wall. Is that your turn, Davian? Yeah. It's like so a this one's dead. Window. The other one that's restrained is not just yeah. promo restrained to kind of do anything, right? He can't yep. break free. He's just... Uh, he skips his turn. Uh, I don't know. Can you take bonus actions when... You... Wait, let me see. His speed is zero. He can attack. He can, he can attack? you know... If he if he, he you can use his action to try and break out, but it will fail. So he yeah. can still so attack with disadvantage. And... Yeah, because you're in his melee now, so he's just gonna try and uh, try and fucking bite you. Yeah. Um, which is wild, straight roll? I think so. Right? Are literally on it. Where's disadvantage? Disadvantage, I'm stupid. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, it was a natural twenty or natural sixteen? Mangles. So eighteen to hit. Eighteen does hit. Oof. Uh, Imagine getting hit by a man that's chained up. You take eight points of uh, piercing time. damage. Sounds like it breaks And I'm going to say that he's incapable of doing the claw attack because of the way the band's kind of wrapped around him. Oh, so he's yeah. just going to bite at sure. you and that's his turn. Uh, Brooks. Uh, Legend. I guess I'm going to keep wailing on this guy in front of me. Yeah. Yay. No, no what? He's still hexed, right? Yes. Okay, I'm going to attempt to grapple him. Sure, man. <laughs> With advantage because I'm raging. The defeat in Dutch's voice. I love Dutch's like. I mean, it's just what's the point, man? <laughs> okay, so it's the twenty-four. God, guy. If he uses athletics, he has. Uh, yeah, you grapple the or... fucking gargoyle that has five HP, bro. Good job. Proud of you. Oh, I mean, I didn't know <laughs> he had five wow. HP. Fuck yeah, that's you. the same one that got blasted by the fucking elders blast and the fucking like pieces of an arm I'm fell off. I'm trying of rock. to make the hex worth it. So you fucking yeah, you wrap. The hex you, already is worth it. I did so much damage. That is true. <laughs> you you grapple. That's you you have him grappled. What do you do? Get Fuck him. it. If I know that oh, he's that yeah, weak, well, if he's that weak, and I know that he's that weak, I'm not gonna push him down. I'm just gonna squeeze him. <laughs> Anaconda yeah, squeeze! Alright, uh, roll your attack with advantage. Just give him a big ol' hug. Uh, he probably needs one, too. I mean, I mean, I've already rolled an 18 as a straight roll, right. so it doesn't matter. Uh, the minimum damage I can do while raging is 6. Uh, sorry, 7. Yeah, so, so you begin squeezing and it just crumbles to dust in your arms and just... <laughs> Cool. So that's my attack action done. <laughs> Hug the where's dead. the uh, where's the nearest one? Kill steal. Um. I know what the fuck, dude. There's what there's the one that's restrained in front of Davian. Uh, there's one in front of Aranya, one in front of Elazrin, and one in front of Jax. Does Elazrin kind of... look bloodied? No. Then I will go beat up the one that's in melee with Aranya. Okay. You're not bloodied. Break. With the fucking stranger? <laughs> Bro. You're not that's bloodied. Yeah, that's your fault. You run fault. up, you run up to, uh, to the one next to Aranya. Flurry of blows, baby. Um, it's almost like he attacked the party. Do I get advantage because I'm flanking? Sure, man. Uh, <laughs> fucking double nines for 16. Welcome, welcome to combat, Briar. I'm starting to understand yeah. Vincent's like hatred for the flanking rule. You know? <laughs> Okay, counterpoint. If you say no, I'll just wreck. Oh, it's fine. I got a 17. It's. Uh, for. 10 points of bludgeoning damage, but this is non magic. Okay. And Vincent's right about. And. Uh, Vincent is right. Uh, I'm gonna kick him again. Great. Well, I'm gonna kick him again for a 22. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
for 11 points of non-magic bludgeoning damage. Okay. Yeah, it's looking pretty rough, but it's not quite uh, dead yet. And then because I've... Uh, because I've Flurry of Blows, did 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 and because I know Dagon's in me, I'm gonna walk away from that one's melee. Okay. okay. Yeah, you got that for free because you Flurry of Blows. All yeah, right. I Flurry of Blows so I can just walk ah, away. Ah, so we're not flanking anymore? Nope. No. Right, you know, that's a dick at me, isn't it? You really just ruined your class. <laughs> You just Everybody drunkenly sauntered away so you can <laughs> fucking fend for yourself. Yeah, that's no, something I'll that there. some point of note, like the the kind of the way Brooks kind of moves around on the battlefield looks very like he sways and, and very almost as giving the idea that he might be under the influence of alcohol all the fucking time. Might be. Might be. He looks drunk. Almost always his, is. He looks drunk off his tits. Yes. When does he not? Um so yeah, are no, you moving or staying put? Is this thing looking like it's gonna fucking die any second? Yes. Then uh, I'll fuck off and I'll protect Diagon over giving advantage. Okay. Uh, last one. What the fuck do you want, Koiba? <laughs> no, it's just this man did a 50 50 trio choice between me and someone else, and then when the other choice stopped going, went fucking somewhere. <laughs> 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 what do you mean? He treats combat like he treats his women and leaves them unsatisfied. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna bonus action uh, move my spiritual weapon up to the one that's attacking me. Okay. Okay, and it's going to take. Mm hmm. Ooh. 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 Ooh I'm thinking an 11's gonna do it, huh? No. No. So close, though. So close. No. And then as my action, ah. Uh... Uh, fuck it. One the one that's right up in my face. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take out my rapier. Yo! <laughs> it's, hey! Is this the first time? I don't know, it's been used. You can see, like, it looks, you know, very well- Very shiny. Very well kept. <laughs> very well kept. <laughs> or, <laughs> You're right. Barely used. <laughs> <laughs> near mint condition. Yeah, it's, it's very much near mint. And I'm about to fucking hit it against stone. So let's go. PSA 8. As they would say. The bourgeoisie with uh, the fucking violent hobbies. It's about to go from yeah. PSA 8 to PSA 2 real quick. As I just slam <laughs> Roll stone. your attack. Uh, that is a 13, baby. <laughs> well, good news for you. Still yeah. near mint condition because you totally missed the guy in front of you. I'm just there, like, <laughs> I'm gonna ruin this mace. I'm gonna... uh, no, no, it's a rapier. It's a rapier. I'm, I'm... Rapier. I'm so I got you. Aha! Oh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> just like straight under <laughs> good job good job all right is that it's, your turn? it's okay that's that's me a, a massive turn massive <laughs> aranya it is me okay mm -hmm. all right uh so what do i got i got the one that i would have been flanking and then is there another one near me too uh not near you near you but every other gargoyle is within walking distance yeah within movement distance Okay, but I would have to move out of this one's melee to get to them. Yes. Okay, so I'll stay where I'm at. I'll just go for the one that's right in front of me. He's waste my weak. 3d6 on the one that's about to die, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to take out my rapier. I don't rapiers. know where you have that. I don't know <laughs> I lied. Have that. I have my... I didn't have two daggers. I had a rapier and a dagger, but I'm going to take them both out. I'm going to whack this dude with uh, my rapier and my extra 3d6. One? If that's it right. Hit, which it does not hit. If it misses, does mm -hmm. the elemental damage still get expended? What's or... the wording? Is it on the next? It just says creature? next melee attack. Uh, next melee attack. First time you hit with the melee attack. The first time you on hit with a melee attack. On your Excellent. Next turn. Okay. So then I'm going to uh, two weapon fighting this bitch and attempt with the my dagger. Offhand dagger. Ye. Yeah. Suck and you. that's a lot better. That's a 23 to hit. That'll hit. So um, the dagger's raw damage plus the, the 3d6 of the elemental. Yeah. So that's that. And then elemental shenanigans give it. So that's 14 total damage. Yeah. So you kind of like, you don't, you don't even like violently stabbing at it. You just kind of like touch the gargoyle with the tip of the dagger. And this like sh mini like shockwave just boof, out of the dagger, and the gargoyle just crumbles and falls to the ground. Excellent. 
Um, and then, so that was my action and my bonus action. I will just move toward whatever the next closest one is and be ready to um, smack or something as well. Probably what I mean, no? There's one in front of Jax, which uh, you were right next to. So you walk, you can walk the 10 feet to close that gap. And, yeah. Yeah. I'll just do that. And that'll be that. Okay. Uh, Diagon. From where Brooks moved to, uh, are we within 30 feet of Davian? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Okay. Um, then, um, uh, Brooks, in your head, you'll hear me say, You should feel better soon. And you and Davian will simultaneously, your bodies will both just very quickly, like, light up and then fade just as fast. But, like, you guys see a flash of that blue spectral energy in both of them at the same time. And I'm oh. going to use my sympathetic mending uh, feature. So, Ooh. Davian... Immediately. <laughs> uh, Davian, you Dying regain um, 12 hit points. And Brooks Ooh. regains three hit points. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Davian took the more mean, damage, so that's fine. I'm now yeah. only that's six point, below. Yeah. I'm down. I'm now only six below max. So there you go. <laughs> and that was my. Cool. Action. Is that the first time you used that? I'm pretty sure, right? That is the first time I've mm -hmm. used that. Yeah. Dope. Very cool. So if oh, I use it, I can use it on that. anyone. I can use it on anyone and not be in a host and just like use my ghost energy to heal you. But if I'm in a host and my host is not the target, they also regain a smaller amount of the hit points. Oh, also, Davian cool was the stuff. target, and then Brooks got like splash energy. It's like perfect was... when you're in Brooks. <laughs> splash energy. <laughs> oh, that's cool as fuck. Yeah, I that. <laughs> and the the, the whole they light up at the same time. That's just my choice of flavoring it for yeah. what you see. Fucking sounds cool. <laughs> uh, anything else you want to do, or is that your turn? Uh, nope, that's my turn. Okie dokie. Uh, Gargoyle in front of uh, Lazarin is going to go Whoa, for the bro. Wombo Combo Bite Claw. Uh, 17 to hit. Misses. Ah, my fucking pussy. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry, 19 to hit. Misses. Damn, all right. Uh, in that case, Kess, you're up. Oh, that's right, because you have your shield and uh, armor now. So there's still uh, uh, one in front of Lazarin, there's, there's one in front of Jax, and then there's the restrained one on the ground in front of uh, Davian. Which one looks healthiest? The one in oh, front of Lazarin. Right. I'm going to attack that one, one that and move. Bloody. You motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to move Hex onto that one mm -hmm. and attack Go for with it. Elgish Beast. Such jumps. a warlock, dude. <laughs> okay, uh, the first one was a... Uh, 18. Hits. Second one is a 26. Also hits. First one. 10 force damage. Mm -hmm. Three thunder. Mm -hmm. Two necrotic. Mm -hmm. Second one. Eight force damage. Ooh, six necrotic. Okay. Uh, this one now also looking pretty rough. Uh... You look at it, Lazarin, as it just... You see these two, like, arcing Eldritch Blasts just kind of, like, coming from behind. You just pff, pff, slam into this uh, this gargoyle, and you can see one of its arms begins to crumble off, and, like, part of its face is gone. Uh, still there, but um, it's not looking too good. Is that your turn, Cass? You're welcome. Yeah, that's it. All right. Um, the gargoyle in front <laughs> of Jax... Can't hit him, but he doesn't know that. He's going to keep trying. He doesn't and know that. roll natural yeah. 20 to hit Jax. Yeah. Whatever, man. He's and then I can just it. silvery barbs that. Natural 1. <sighs> 12. Ah. So they both miss. Um, <laughs> that, uh, Jax, you're up. Sorry. All right. Um, I'm going to walk away from this gargoyle that Rania's on. Just kidding. Um, Deny the flank yet again. I just, yeah. <laughs> no flight. Do it. It can't hit you. That's true. But it's true. <laughs> I really can't. It's gonna fucking try. Um, I'll just I'll use my Thunder Gauntlets, bro. You know, don't yeah. need to do anything fancy. Dutch rewriting so... all of our enemies to use saving throws. Uh, the oh, first one is a seventeen to hit. Hits. Cool. That does. Ooh. Thirteen points of thunder damage. Thirteen. Mm. All right. Looking Still up. very rough. Damn it. 
Hit it again. I, I don't hit it. What's your roll? We don't need to talk about it. I don't I don't hit it. Give me your number. Natural now. one. Natural one. <laughs> yes. oh. And guess whose dice it was? Yet again. Koiba. Oh my god. Dude, he's cursed these dice. <laughs> he that's what he does, man. Um all right, you Dude, meanwhile, America's ass is working. America's ass, bro. <laughs> Those are Every fun. damn day. Davian, it is your turn. Don't take a day off, you know. <laughs> I mean, this fucking restrained motherfucker is getting a taste of America's right now. Let's go! <laughs> oh, he's getting that one. That'd be the funniest fucking thing. The fucking, the sword. The sword. Miss. Just miss. <laughs> well, actually, America's ass low, rolled lower than Laura's die, which rolled oh. a natural 16. Hey, Canada so... gets a win once a year, dude. It's like a blind squirrel finding the nut. You know? That's a, uh, a 22 to hit. It's hard. Oh. I want dice that smell like maple syrup. But the, also Same. the dice that you're throwing that are mine, they're not your like dice Canadian. Maple syrup. Uh, the dice four, are Canadian themed, they're fire Seven elements. points of magical slashing, two points of cold damage. Looking pretty fucking rough, dude. Second oh. attack. Dicky 20. 22 to hit on mm -hmm. Ethan's dice. Ooh. For... <laughs> this is a competition now. What's that? Six, six points of magical slashing, three points of cold because damage. Because I, yeah, I um, buy expensive dice for people. You, you manage to finish it off and it just crumbles Same. and iron bands just kind of like shift back to their form. Yeah. just kind of lay in the dust. Who's, who's left? Uh, there's one in front of Lazarin and one in front of uh, Jack still. Mine's really which fucked up. Which looks worse. Jack's is really fucked up? Yeah, yeah Oni's yeah. going in, dude. Okay. Oni's going in and he's flanking for the advantage. So I can Oni really might steal that shit. Attack. Uh, he, can he? Because uh, Jackson Aranya are flanking. That is true. Okay. Yeah, but it's the three-way flank, you know. No. Like, uh, yes, the well-known. It's not flanking if it's in a three-way. The three-way flank. <laughs> Straight roll, man. So, so you're okay. not gonna give the bird that does a D4 damage. Okay, dude. <laughs> that is correct. I'm just roll well, better. It, you know what? I don't even need it because once again, as a knight. Tw a, a dirty 20 to hit on Ethan's die. I'm so proud of you. I hope it's a hey, one. Hey, whose dice broke your curse, all right? Just remember that. <laughs> I hope it's a one. You always remember your first. Why was that vaguely threatening? Uh, yeah. three plus three, yeah, plus three so nine <laughs> points of piercing. Uh, Onu <laughs> takes down this, uh, this this gargoyle, and it just... Whoa! Onu kind of, like, swoops down and just flies straight through it, and it just <laughs> crumbles, and, and Onu just flies straight through this, this gargoyle. And goes back up. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, those are dead. Brooks. Ooh. There's one left, and There's it's one left. Uh, sandwiched by. Uh... No, never mind. It's just in front of a last room. Which is the one that, oh, that's the one that you're fucking at already, right? Isn't it? No, I'm not at any. I moved away from the one that was. Right, because you're. Yeah, never mind. I, I was protecting Geiger. <laughs> Finish that sentence, Dutch? Because uh... <laughs> I'm a drunken master. That's exactly what I was saying. Sure. Say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, a master something. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Can I flank with Laszlo, or do I need to reckless? Well, yesterday I learned uh -oh. that spiritual weapon doesn't actually take no, up a no. space. No. no. So yeah, you can. There's a spiritual weapon that floats there, but yeah, you can fucking just say fuck well, it. I assumed. Right, uh, that's a 22 to hit. Yes. With the... Maybe it's just fucking, when it hits. With the magic brass knuckles. Magic brass knuckles. Wars. So two, four, so nine points of magic bludgeoning damage. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna hit it again. One land. Uh, it's a 19. Yep. Yeah. For 12 points of magic bludgeoning damage. All right, and with that, you finish off the last remaining gargoyle. It also just crumbles to dust. I'm just going to punch through the back of it. That's Hell yeah. Um, Showering a Lazarus. As, the, as the fight ends, uh, you're still on this like cliff face, kind of like on this pathway. Uh, there are some alcoves that kind of like divert off the road a little bit, uh, but you are all starting to feel some fatigue coming on. Uh, it's been a pretty long day for you. You've done a lot of things, and you're all getting pretty tired at this point. It's sleepy time, Junction. <laughs> I'm trying to find an alcove that seems suitable to 
Um, doesn't take you very long. Uh, you find a small alcove, kind of just like just off the side of the road, uh, that kind of like goes a little bit into the mountain. Like it's not like, it's not like a proper cave, but it does provide some shelter. Uh, as it just kind of goes a little deeper into the cliff face uh, than the rest. Um, which would yeah, that seems suitable enough for you for the night. And then I think as um. you guys are kind of. <clears throat> Getting ready to set up for camp. Uh, should we take our break here and then we'll be, uh, oh, yeah. be back after? Yes, yeah, we've, oh, yeah. got, we've got conversations to have. Exactly. We? So we'll uh, us? Yeah. put this up. We gotta talk we to our new talk. friend. Hello? Yeah. Exactly. We're, gonna We're gonna vote out Jax. Who is, who is your daddy time. and what does he do? No, uh, we'll be back in a few minutes, guys. No, the um, question for Aranya is do you smoke? Do you drink? <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out after the break, guys. Be right back.
Hello. 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 We were like almost everyone was back, and then and my parents were like, "Oh, we need your help moving something." How dare they? Uh, hey guys, <sighs> welcome back. Um, thanks for sticking around. You all just fought some gargoyles, and are getting to the level point up. where, <laughs> uh, yeah, you leveled up now. <laughs> um, if only it were that easy <laughs> over here. Uh, you you yeah, baby. found a nice. I Sorry. you found a place to make camp for the night way. as. You're not sure how many hours specific, uh, per se you've been awake for, but it's been a long day, done a lot of things, and you're you're feeling some like fatigue coming on. So you decided that it was better for you all to, in a place, find some shelter to rest, which you found in the form of a small alcove in the cliffside. Um, would you like to do? I would like to pull out my. <laughs> My burning bush. Oh. Okay. Oh. Well, it still doesn't narrow it down. <laughs> and while while Brooks is doing that, bed. I'll say to Aranya, "Oh, I don't, I don't know if you were able to bring any food with you, but I have some spare food I don't need, uh, with my stuff. I can go Ooh. grab it. Um. I mean, I I, I have food, but okay, if, just checking. Thank you. I appreciate that. Where are you from? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, well, I'm from here. Well, you're from uh, not, the not here. Were you here, from but... here before it got to the shadow fell? Yes. Whoa. I signed a guess. Dude, she does not look that, or they do not look that old. <laughs> what year was that? <laughs> uh, DM. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Um, you here we go. Aren't too sure. Oh, great. Um, but uh, I was like sixteen. I would. You were known. very young, <laughs> but um, you seem to recall a specific event. Uh, that Strahd got appointed to be general of the area around the year two hundred. Of the second era. Okay. Oh, so nice. yeah, that's the answer that I give. <laughs> but you have no idea you, as far as like eyes wide. how long ago you, that is. Yeah. Uh, Alas it's just like <laughs> you're fucking Jackson old. Jackson deals one in the party anymore, boys. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking old. That's Thank rude. You. Do you I guess. Do you drink? Uh, not very often. No. Would you like to drink? Would you like a drink? <laughs> uh, as I'm just sure. I I I I say out loud. Um, we actually have a very special vintage we picked up that you probably never tried. Um, Jax has it in his bag and just signed to cast thoughts and prayers. Um, and, I, and I give Jax one of those like trying like just we have a special drinks and just kind of like looking at trying to like imply and hope checks catches my drink yes. in the bag um, of holding. I'll pull Did I... a little, little bottle of alcohol. <laughs> I can't wait for Dex to put I'll out like just the like... wrong bottle. It's a whiskey, Glen McKenna, 20 years. <laughs> what, what, I only have one kind of alcohol now. Okay. Drink the rest of it. Is is anyone else anyone else want to drink while we're here? No. I love one. No, I want to be uh, I will throw Kess an ale. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yay! Just a keg? <laughs> no, just an ale. I know I'll you can't out. Yay! I was, I was trying to be funny. I mean, if you really want one, you can... I, I don't. Uh, I was just making a bad joke. It's fine. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Or die again. I'm gonna... I'm gonna give Kess an ale. Uh, you don't have to drink this, Ronya, but, but... If you'd like... It's very tasty. And before, when I could still drink things, I used I I, I had a lot of it. It was pretty good. She had a bit of a problem. <laughs> I mean, um, like, I, technically, I had many problems, but that wasn't mm -hmm. one of them. Mm -hmm. That was a solution. <laughs> oh no! Drinking is the solution. 
<laughs> all alcohol was a solution. What, what, what is it? It's my there? solution too. Uh, you um, see the bottle, and it just—it's just labeled "thoughts and prayers." It, it makes you elicit very many thoughts, and you tend to pray after drinking a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> Do I believe that? Make an insight good for check. the mind. Make an insight check. <laughs> I'm not really like, lying. Make a make a you uh, make a deception check. Some prayers. You're you're not lying, but yeah, you're that's being a detective. natural twenty for a twenty three. Oh. So funnily enough, uh oh, I rolled a natural one. <laughs> uh, you Old get the sense that there's something going on that they aren't telling. <laughs> you. Really, what could I have ever gotten that sense from? <laughs> Give it away. Some some about um, what they're saying to make it seems like they're they're, they're not weird. being completely open. I think if uh, if you have any ale, I think I'll just stick with ale. If that's all. I will. Missing out though. I mm. will give Aranya <laughs> some ale, but I'll give her a different bottle to the one I gave to Kess. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> uh... <laughs> Stop! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna like. I don't know what kind of check you would want me to make for this, but I'm gonna like sniff it and try to look at the coloration of it. Make a perception check. <laughs> Does it seem like a standard ale of any kind? Right. No, it's, it's, we see you just Aranya, you. Aranya has a perfectly normal ale. It's just a different bottle. Uh huh. Uh, it's a twenty-two. <laughs> seems like seems like oh. ale to you. Yeah. No, I fully believe you, Ethan, as well. But right. you, it's like this person's quite kind of doesn't take want to have something different, and you just like here's something different. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I will. It seems I, like ill to you. Is it Aranya, smells like ill. Is it looks like Aranya Ill. clearly reluctant. Okay. Like, like Aranya visibly sniffed it, right? Oh yeah, they're not hiding will, their distrust for this weird ass group of people. I will hold my hand out. I'll hold my hand out to the bottle. Like yeah. asking for it back. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And they'll I hand it back. And sip some of it and then pass it back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they'll drink some. Yeah. They're not gonna get drunk, but they'll drink with you guys. <laughs> Before I drink out, I'm gonna pour Hawthorne out of the vessel. Hey. Ah, what's going on? Hey! Hi. We've got a lot of weird friends. We... What's that? Oh, you see, of you weird see by the way, um... What does Hawthorne look like again, exactly? He's uh like a Imp little right. sprite, <clears throat> like a little fairy dude. He's very small. His little, with, like, like, little shaggy, fey sprite just kind of appears next shaggy to Shaggy black hair. Very similar to a can of 7-Up. Mm -hmm. They're going to kind of look at their <laughs> bottle of ale again and look up at what Brooks. What did I drink? Like... <laughs> no, he's he's real. He's a very bad shot, though. I'm going to get him to go over and go sit. Go fuck yourself, big guy. Huh? You shot me in the ass. <laughs> Do it again. That makes him a that makes him a fantastic <laughs> shot, to be honest with you, Brooks. I'm gonna get I, I'm gonna get uh, Thorn to sit on Arana's shoulder and use heart sight. Ooh. Heart sight. Okay. So Ooh. Thorn just kind of flies up to, towards you, Arana, and just go. Hi, my name's Hawthorne, and he just plops down on your shoulder. Uh, roll oh, a hello. charisma save. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. Is this any kind of like a? Oh no, charm is wisdom anyway. Never mind. Are you undead or is celestial or? A fiend. <laughs> uh, 17 charisma save. Okay, you're fine. But I do know your emotional state now. That's uh, awkward. Paranoid. <laughs> awkward. Awkward. <laughs> awkward and uh, distrustful, but not like to the point of, you know, wanting to like fight y'all, but just kind <laughs> of what did I get myself into kind of. <laughs> Uneasy. Mm. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get up and take the next 11 minutes to set up my tin cans. All right. <laughs> cool. I'll, I'll sort of look at um, Aranya and just sort of like, so you probably have a couple of questions. <laughs> I mean, we... So, you know, we're, idiots, we're an eccentric but... group. Oh, what is it? Time for the I don't know what you're talking about. I'm very normal. No, we're like the very definition of eccentric. I mean, like there is nothing normal about any of us, really. And they just kind of look. They're a bunch of weirdos. As Hawthorne kind of pipes up from your Hawthorne. shoulder. Yeah, Hawthorne. and they kind of look at <laughs> Hawthorne like, "Do you, do you mind getting off?" Oh, I'm comfortable. Okay. 
And I'm gonna hover off and flies back to Cass and flops on her. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him to, on my shoulder. I'm now, I'm now gonna get him to sit on uh, Brooke's shoulder and use hot sight. Ooh. <laughs> okay. All right, charisma save. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, is it? It's not a spell, is it? It's an ability. No, it's just a thing. It's a thirteen. Yeah, you're fine. I know your emotional state. <laughs> okay. Madly in love with Cass. Emotional say stoned. That's not the motion. That's the physical state. <laughs> Shook up. Mm -hmm. Curious. Interesting. Shook Horny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I thought we were. Is it also an emotion or is that a physical state? Like both, both, I reckon. Both. both. Yeah. We'll call him A. We'll call him B. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, because you can be in the physical state and not be like emotionally yeah. there. Emotionally That's true. <laughs> nah, uh, uh, yeah, whatever. It was a stupid joke. Um, so Hawthorne kind of sits down and. Yeah. Hey, big guy. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> to sit, which I'm doing. <laughs> was this your decision or was this hers? If you want to guess. Cool. I gathered. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. And kind of like sits on your shoulder and just like kicks his little feet like like back and forth. Just... <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna blow smoke in his face. <laughs> just kind of just darts off and goes, <laughs> goes back to Kess. And so you can oh. sit there. I just. Anyways, you so... guys are so mean to Thorn. What the fuck? <laughs> you taught me. Get over it. I just turned back to Aranya and like, anyways, so you're from here. That's mm -hmm. cool. Presumably when here was less creepy. Mm. A bit, yes. So how'd you end up a prisoner? Uh, well, I, um, was, so I was here for a long time, clearly, uh, before getting out of Barovia itself. Um, and so I've kind of been, uh, I guess you could say training and I've decided to come back and, um, hopefully put an end to what Strahd has going on. Gotcha. Makes sense. I guess I wasn't quite as subtle as I thought. Yeah, it happens to the best of us. You got, like, direct training from the Raven Queen? Is that time? Oh, uh, nothing that grand, or I, I would assure you, but, um, no, uh, from one of her lieutenants, I suppose you could, one of oh. her champions. <gasps> oh. That's still quite high up, like a champion so of a god, like, still pretty. Yeah. Out of if any of out you had watched this course, you'd know yeah. this. <laughs> out of character. <laughs> 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 well, so just, you know, just a casual lieutenant of the Raven Queen, you know, nothing. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Some people... I mean, know, yeah, they were a dime a dozen. So you see step down the from the Raven Queen herself, I would say, but... I mean, it's... Some people just hear the occasional word from their deity, so you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Some people don't. go years believing that the gods don't exist, so... Uh, literally hundreds of years, somehow. I guess I have the benefit of proximity. Some of us are friends with our gods. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Get it. Some of us are puppets to... Uh, where is well, anyway. Elfenel? She's not been causing chaos for a good while. I mean, I where is who? Very busy. Oh. You, as you say that, Brooks, you, you feel a very slight tickle in one, under one of your armpits. Oh, uh, hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I say, I feel like if chaos is the feeling of, you know, Elsinil, surely I think everything we've been going through recently is all that sort of, you know. You I would not give her that much credit. Are you blaming everything on Elsinil? That's kind of rude. I did not. That's I would not say attributing, not blaming in either way. I think that's exactly. a little bit lofty, even for an Archfey. During this conversation, oh, is God mm -hmm. now. I just want to whisper okay. over my shoulder to no one in particular. Mm -hmm. Just hang around, you're gonna love this. Oh. You hear a very slight giggle in the Excellent. back of your mind. <laughs> I'm talking about which I am drinking the ale. 
Okay. Uh, Unfortunately... So, uh, oh. At some point, when DM uh, determines it... Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, I should just message you, Dutch. Yeah, so DM it. Oh, it's good. Kess has been... Something happening. <laughs> <laughs> If you remember that Dutch. But didn't you get ale that turns people like a weird color or something? Like, right. <laughs> right. Right. You got something that does something weird. I've got lots of things that do things. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Um I could have done the other one that's much worse. Davian was gonna was about to say something. Well, no, no, I mean I was just gonna say unfortunately. Um, this ragtag group of fuckwits, as we're lovably known, um, are a little bit, you know, might, might be a little abrasive, um, but... Abrasive? As much, uh, as many troops of adventurers or mercenaries you might have seen, I would give us, I would give us some, some credit, you know, we've got a, a decent track record of staying alive except for Dagen and you know getting done what needs I mean, to be done oh, I, 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 I mean I survived death already once that's more than most people can all... say you know what I have a better track record probably than most of you because most that's of what... you you die once that's probably it hey I've have died one of them that hasn't died I would say I haven't always well, accepted I've not, like, I've not died Ish. I mean Brooks you've got Cut down well, on the street. Well, we're counting that. I've died like five times. But he's not died. No, no, no. Revivified. It's only me and Jax that haven't been revivified. Yeah. I'm yeah. also referring it's, to yeah. when I was like hung from the neck yeah. and attempted to be killed. Hanged. I survived that. Hey, that whatever. Uh, Hunged. Hanged. I'm fine. Hanged. I'm better. I. Harangued. I think I have right. more survivability than most people, considering how often I both went unconscious and was tried to be murdered. So, so you're nine. What you're saying is you're nine lives. Right now, and yeah, now you're I on. Think, well, no, I think this is nine. This is this is I mean. nine. This, this is, is a it. clear this sign of last, nine. Yeah, this is the <laughs> sign I'm on the last one. That's the way I see it. So uh, <laughs> please don't get into any more situations, because nine's enough. I don't get into any of them by myself. Anyway, all I'm trying Other to say, Aranya, is that uh, we're not bad at what we do. We're just bad at interacting with other people. Oh no, you certainly held your own in that fight back there. I'm excellent at talking to people, thank you. You're so terrible, much. I hate you and I wish you weren't here almost every single waking moment. But, keep you around because oh. you're really good at killing people, as terrifying as it is. Jesus Christ. She's really good at killing people, so you piss her off. Rania takes a huge swig of her ale, or their ale. That um, was just... hyperbole, Kess, but all <laughs> I'm saying is, listen... <laughs> We're a bunch of fucking idiots when it comes to just interacting with each other and other people in general. We're just fortunate that we're very, very good at not dying and making sure that, you know, the bad guys do die. We get in, the job done. In sign right. language, while Davian's having that last little monologue, I say to Kess, I'm glad you've picked a new boyfriend because that one's rude. Remember when you were uh, considered sleeping with him like that one time? Good thing you did it. <laughs> And that's all in sign language while well, Debbie In sign fine. language, of course. Mm -hmm. I do not understand Always. a single word with that. No, you yeah. do not. <laughs> and I did not try and cover it, so if Aranya knows sign language, then... I don't whatever, the sign, don't. whatever the sign this means, Davian can't quite figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> they sign that a lot when they talk about Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> For that one, we'll just be this. <laughs> The ring! <laughs> the ring! Yes, the ring! Hey, go to the bed! <laughs> oh, God. He's proposing. Um, after a little time goes by... I'm, I mean, you you drank it as well, Brooks. No, I drank some of... Uh, the other one. I s drank some the of Aranya's, which was just an ale. Oh, this is the one that you gave to Kess. Oh, yeah. Yes. No, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... Okay, okay. Like, Kess. Prank the mm -hmm. newbie. Um... Suddenly, you don't see this, but everyone else, you can see Kess's hair change color to a, a, oh, a yeah. very nice, bright ginger color. Oh, so is that normal then? Yep, that's totally fine. Nothing has changed. What? Kess, your hair's ginger now. <laughs> it's kind of an interesting combo with the blue. Like, they're very, very opposed, but it works. 
if I look at it, do I see it? Yeah. This is not a color I've gone before. No, I don't, I don't remember it. Mm. It's not bad. Like it's they're they're like conflicting colors, but yet complementary no. at the same time. Like it's kind of interesting because mm. blue and orange are like opposites on the color. It's like copper and roasted Mystique. copper. I quite like it. Well, that takes the fun out of it. <laughs> you hear like this whisper in your ear, uh, Brooks. You tried. <laughs> it's kind of just like fades away. Although, to be I'm honest, to... I think I will do every hair color. I'm going to turn Onu into a dog. Okay. Uh, so you all look as uh, the, this large oh, shoebill stork uh, just suddenly shape shifts and becomes a painted dog. Hell yeah. A painted dog? Yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's just a, a it's type an African of wild, wild dog. dog. Yeah. Oh, okay. They look a bit they're... like hyenas. Yeah, they're called Aww. that because they have like random splotches of color, so it's like painted because they're not a uniform color of dog. They have big ears. They're Apparently cute. they're fucking savage, dude. They like, are savages, though. Yeah. yeah. And like Ono, real, however, like, pack only animals. Only savage when Davian tells him to be, so Ono just kind of curls up next to Davian and lays down. Yeah. Puppy Don't Ono. Go. If not friend, why friend-shaped? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah look at the ears. Okay. That's how all that's how druids see all animals in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well mm -hmm. I see most most animals with fur. I'm like <laughs> yeah. That is the last of my fun magic alcohols, so that felt wasteful. I don't believe <laughs> Brooks for a second when he says that. I mean Insight it, check. It looks it looks good. IRL insight check. <laughs> Wouldn't call that a waste. Right? Oh no, that I mean, was that, now character. she knows if she ever wants to die ahead. Now if I ever disguise inside? myself, I can. Isn't I know Davian I ginger as well? Am I, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of dark. Though. It's like all them. I got a twenty-three. <laughs> Twenty-five. <laughs> yeah, it's bullshit. Yeah. Okay. Bullshit. You don't know what he's got, you just know he's got some form of magic alcohol. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so Aranya, surprised. by the way, mm. I'm curious, given the quiver you carry, what what range weapon you, you use? I mean... A short bow. <laughs> that was yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I dabble in short as well. <laughs> How short are we talking? The, the normal length. That means not that much of a dick. I take that back. <laughs> Hawthorne also uses a short bow, but I imagine it's not as short as yours. I mean, yeah, his is not yeah, short. The small, like, <laughs> sprite kind of wiggles this, like, short bow this big no. around. <laughs> Just for clarification, like, we can't see a short bow anywhere on it. No, it's in the quiver, for sure. We don't know that. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <clears throat> I did, I kind of wish I kept the longbow because I could have just slotted it in the fucking quiver and had it there the whole time. Like it was never going to weigh me down, but you know. Yeah, I mean, I've got darts. Yeah. If, if you want darts. Um, so as you kind of like, you know, you're relaxing, having some drinks, mm -hmm. having some food, making some conversation. Uh, what are you going to do for watches and watching? Oh. Okay, I'll volunteer to just do it all since I don't sleep, but if anyone wants to get up and keep me company for intervals, you're welcome to. I mean, Aranya can take the first half or second half. You still oh, you still need to rest, bit. right? Like, you don't sleep, but you still have to rest. Yeah, she's still be like, watch Yeah, because like, you have to be able to regenerate things. And... A sale. Cool. Uh, you... Yeah, you still take you still take short or long rests to use hit dice. So I don't physically sleep. I just need to be like not doing anything. Yeah. Yeah. So I just not to be not not doing an activity, just kind of like it's like watching well, is perfect. Yeah. If we go before we go to watch, I will start ritual casting uh Lehman's tiny hut. Nice. I'm and if the dome does go up to like the entrance of this sort of algo, make it look like it's just sheer rock. Mm-hmm. Well, it will be grey. Yeah. Because I can't make it look, look textured, but it'll just grey. Kind of just blends in uh, well with the, the, the yeah, rock face. Yeah, rather than just, yeah. Okay. I'll put my vessel around uh, Daigon's neck and then disappear into it. Oh, it won't. 
Well, Go Dagon appears in your vessel with you. Oh, uh, no. It'll what? fall through. Oh, but, well, no, never mind. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's true. Objects. The vessel, the vessel, th that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, because you don't have a physical. But, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, not, I'm not bound to Kess. I'm bound to the yeah, vessel. Yeah, yeah, She can't uh, wear it because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, forgot, I, forgot, I can, I I can protect it, yeah. but I can't wear I will it. it yeah. I will put it at your feet. Yeah. No, I, I, I love, no, I love the image. You go, you put it around like it, it just falls through. It's just, you just, you just like Kess already started turning away. You just hear crunk, 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 crunk. It's like no, oh. she's inside it, and she hears clank, clank, yeah. clank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck, she's Oh, she's inside, and she just goes, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Anyway. Um. All right. Um. So is anyone gonna stay awake for a bit, or you're all sleeping and oh. letting the watch oh, go okay, for Dagon? I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I got my tin cans up. I'll do. I'll do... At some point. I mean, Aranya really only sleeps one. or trances for four hours, so there's yeah. gonna be four hours when they're awake. Well, I'll take the first watch then. Okay. Fucking, um, I'm Davian gonna be... is gonna fucking yeah. revel in the full night sleep he's gonna get because like half the fucking party <laughs> at this point doesn't need sleep and he's just gonna <laughs> knock the fuck out. Okay. Brooks is gonna do the same. I'm with separately, not sleeping with Davian. I'm gonna do the first four hours in my vessel and then. Brooks come brings out. Davian. Is someone? <laughs> Is someone up besides Daigon after my first four hours? I mean, I can... Uh, you I mean, and I've... Aranya will wake Aranya up at the same time, in. yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll just maybe... I... Uh... Hey, Daigon? <laughs> well, uh, before we do that... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. First watch, so uh, Daigon and Lazarin are, are, are mm -hmm. both yep. capable of watching, so both of you make a perception check. Uh, 22. Not as good. Uh, 11. You hear approaching, um, you know, coming from where the path is, a cart. And as it's oh, kind of like no. it rolls past, um, no, no, no. you see... What did you roll again? Uh, uh Quibba? 22. 22. 22. You see this cart is pretty, like, elaborate. There's a bunch of, like, boxes and barrels kind of on top of it. Um, and you see... At the, you know, riding the horses, like, guiding the horses, a familiar figure. And this figure of this elderly woman kind of looks into your direction and just kind of gives you a wink and then goes by. The tarot card reader? Uh, right? The same woman who read you your fortunes. Hey! Um, kind of, like, looks, uh, like, sees the, sees the rock wall... But somehow still looks you directly in the eyes and gives you a gives you a little wink and uh, slowly a half wave slowly keeps going. It's not mm. weird at all. Very weird. Other than that, uh, not much. And Elazar, eventually yeah. you uh, get tired as well. Um, is anyone gonna? Is Dagon just gonna take these two hours by herself before uh, the two half miters um, wake up? I mean, before. I go to sleep. I do want to talk to Dagon. Okay. Book. Is that? I just saw. I look at Dagon like. So, how are you? Uh, how are you doing? I feel like I've not really been able to catch up with you properly since everything sort of happened. I don't know. No, no, I get that. I similar sort of feeling, to be honest. Because I mean, this is kind of like an experiment while we're here. Or like testing how it feels to just not use my body for a while, but it's not a real true test because again, here there's lots of extenuating circumstances, and it'll be the easiest to blend in, kind of, because there's so many other weird, creepy things around. So it's not truly, you know, a good simulation for when we go back, but it's better than nothing. Like a first baby step, though. Yeah. Which you always need to take the you know, first step, as yeah. they say, is usually the hardest. Yeah. Uh, well, if I'm not doing too bad, you know that we're here for anything like that. It's just, you know, I always feel like I could have done more. Can't I mean, everybody did a lot when it happened. It wasn't for anyone's lack of trying, and it's. Oh, yeah. The nature of my former skill set, unfortunately, kind of just lent itself to that. And 
Like, I, I, I wasn't really that kidding earlier. Like, I kind of feel like I've just been living on borrowed time anyway. So it's all mm -hmm. just bonus at this point, I guess. That's one way to talk about it. It's a lot more positive than others would be. Like that one for sure. I think myself included. I know, death terrifies me. But we face it every day. Can't let it know it's going to win. Just let us know if it stuff starts being on too much. We need to have breaks. And do you worry we sort of go full throttle a lot? It's just like the whole... Like, I mean, it's it's very obvious that certain people don't understand why I, in this new form, would keep the whole ruse or charade or the habits or the tie to keep my old body around. But I mean, first of all, just practicality. Like, you saw what happened when Kess tried to put the vessel on my neck. I can't do anything. I can't touch anything. That kind of sucks. So having a way to do that is very helpful. But aside from that, I guess no one else seems to see or realizes if I do truly let it go, kind of, like my old physical shape and say goodbye to it, at least before, it was always the easy answer for why I was on the outside or why people didn't like me. If I let it go, then it's actually me that people have a problem with. And that that's that's really shitty. I like having a an excuse at least. I like the lie I tell myself. I think we all do. The lies that we tell ourselves tend to be the uh hardest truths. Well, know this that no matter what happens, you still have, you know, us that will be Probably with you the whole time. Can't say for some people. Some people might be more with money and Jax is old, so he might I appreciate forget. the help too, but by the way, with the whole keeping my body usable thing. That's, that's I fine. I mean, it. barely costs anything, to be honest. It's just copper pieces and remembering I have to do it. That's the, uh, that's going to be the one little, uh, little trick is. Especially timing weird now. I don't know how many days is going to count to We'll, we'll figure it out. I'm sure we can look at the body and if I... Like, I should know. I mean, I hope I realize when it's coming up. I can... It's oh, coming up! Well, it's we did up. it right before we came Tuesday. here. So, yeah. so it all depends on how, like, if we do it after another, like, seven to ten days while we're in here. Yeah. But then if it's... It's interesting. I wonder if my body's on material plane time or Barovia time. That's, That's what I'm saying. I should maybe... I know. I, don't know how I should write a book. If I it was about your, if it was things, about, I, my life is fast. Because you're just like with the souls with a lot of these timed sort of things, but obviously your soul's complete, like your soul is intact and yeah. completely fine. It's just didn't want to go with the body. It seems, but no, that no matter what happens, um, with what you decide to do with terms of bodies and appearance, that. I don't think any of us are really going to be leaving you. It's going to be weird and we have to adjust to it, but... You know, I see both sides of... I understand what how other people feel. It is... Slightly morbid, but... Also, I can see and fully understand your... Same point. It's, a, I say, well, it's all new to us. So... Meanwhile, Kess is trancing right next to Dagon's body on a bed. <laughs> yeah, just, just looking at this, like, fucking folded, like, corpse. It's like, oh, that's my friend. <laughs> I'm assuming we laid it out nicely. Like, I'm just kind of, like, lying down. There. No, Wait, no, yeah, like... Like... I can no, pose fully. it. No, uh, sorry, no, Kess fully... poses it. <laughs> she's, she's on the bed. Kess is just, like, sat crossed legged like, right next to her, just <laughs> meditating. Kess, weekend... Kess just weakened at Bernie's at sometimes, like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Well, uh, I'm fucking dead. I'm tired. <laughs> All this, um, it's a lot, currently. <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot going on. And I'm worried about when we'll... it's all going to stop or what the fuck we're going to do. <laughs> I'm worried about what happens if we don't get to Brooks's brother in time. Oh. I don't think he's going to handle it very well. Oh, I didn't tell you this. 
And to be honest, I am. Um, yeah, you know, I spoke to I spoke to Joaquin. I think. Oh, that was nice. Cause I know you don't get to do that a lot. No, but I don't. I uh, I asked her if you know about an event about the future and about if we could save you know Brooks's brother and she said that it's possible and if the time is on the essence we should be. Did you specifically ask about Brooks's brother? Yeah, I did. Okay, just making sure. I don't know much about Joaquin, but because some deities be tricksy, so just well you know, very specific. I. <laughs> I mean, it was tricksy enough anyway, because it was, you know, it's still talking to the... I don't really know how it works, I'll be honest with you. I was sh shocked that it. I heard something. And usually I just sort of it's, it's see a bit of light glint of a coin. And well, so there's a very big gift. difference between we'll get there in time. Because, yeah, we could get there in time. But then when we get there, we have to then, you know, like, succeed I think and also do the my, thing, I think And that's very different. The, I think there's limitations on, like, if we do different things... Like, it's looking into the future of, like, future events, and I think even me using a different spell, for example, can change that future completely. I don't... I don't really understand Hold it very well. Gonna, gonna yeah, yeah, I don't... I don't understand it very well, but I think it's... a general feeling. Timey-wimey. Yeah, timey-wimey yeah. fucking multiverse, <laughs> like, you if I cast a wound here, if I cast a word. You looked into, like, thousands of different timelines, and there is a couple where you succeed. The times of the essence. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. It's going. However, the ones that we fell, Jesus Christ! It's like, Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> when we all become Strahd, that's like one timeline. <laughs> yes. Um. Well, it's good to catch up, Dragon. I feel like I don't yeah. get to. I feel like I don't get to talk to people often. I feel like I'm quite insular. From my own. I don't know if I'd say that, but we definitely, we definitely don't have like one-on-one -on -one no. time a lot. So yeah, that's nice. Yes. If nothing. Take it easy. Sleep well. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> and I fucking Izzy regrets the decision of saying sleep well. It's like, fuck. <laughs> uh, okay. You said, did you say earlier a Lazarus passive insight is twenty one? I did indeed. Oh. So he would he would have instantly seen it, seen your face, and go fuck. <laughs> so like, no, that's not the thing before. I said oh. this whole time. Yeah. So as as you say, like we don't talk too much a lot. Like you probably. Being honest, you probably get a vibe you're like my my non-existent tail being a little twitchy. Like when you say that, mm -hmm. it seems like there's something that I really want to tell you, but I can't. Oh, <laughs> oh. well, again, it's it's that sort of <laughs> sub read of just like, hey man, I, he gets it as well. <laughs> like there's there's very much a like there's a lot to, there's a lot all of us need to say to each other but <laughs> <laughs> there's no good there's no real good time place or anything for it so we just move along yeah all right uh so diagon for the next two hours where you're kind of the only one uh awake right now uh make I a mean, perception check i'm not opposed to being broke woken up for a... mm -hmm. but i also didn't tell anyone to win me up exactly. no, 13. uh you again hear sounds uh, coming from near the cavern that you're in, and you can see three werewolves kind of coming down the up, up the road and snarling and and sniffing the stroll. sniffing the air and then looking at the rock face, not making direct eye contact, but looking in your general direction. Yeah, because we're in the hut. Yeah, and and they just kind of and then they slowly move. While they're past. looking at me, but they don't know they're looking at me. I'm on the other side of the hut, making funny faces at them. Like, <laughs> like being stupid. <laughs> and they they just kind of keep going eventually. Uh, is there anything you want to do in your two hours that you have alone? I start to do a bunch of things and then both stop myself to be like, no, focus. Like this is your job. Like watch. Like I, I start to like then like play like tic tac toe in the dirt with myself and then realize my claws aren't making a mark on the ground. Oh. <laughs> So I go back to watching, and then I go to try to do like, things, things like that. I just start doing stuff, and then I'm like, I can't do it. But that's good, because I, I should be paying attention. And then... A montage, like, animatic <laughs> yeah. dragon, just trying to do things. Right. I yeah. also do similar, well, maybe I'll make funny faces over people, out, like because I know I can't actually physically interact with any of their belongings <laughs> or themselves in any way. I'll, like, draw invisible mustaches on some of the party members <laughs> like, with my finger and just, like, do things to so pass after, the time uh, while keeping an eye out <laughs> after those two hours uh ranya you uh, you wake up from your uh, your trance kess you as well mm -hmm. um in your vessel though but you're both awake pop out and i'll go toward the opening not past the hut of course but mm -hmm. just 
towards the opening to look yeah, at. Dagon is still sitting there, just kind of looking out, and then you see both cats popping out. I'm the metaphorically, you see I'm drumming on an invisible drum, but it looks like I'm playing like a familiar pattern or rhythm. But to you, it just looks like I'm like begging something that is not there. And then they come out, and I wave. <laughs> Are you, hey Dagon? Anything, mm -hmm. anything fun happen? Over the some werewolves walked by. They didn't see. They didn't know we're here. But th there were some werewolves. The card reader lady showed up, but she didn't talk to us. But she like, like waved, like she knew we were here. It was very disconcerting, actually. Mysterious. Yeah, I like her. She seems fun. Are you opposed to coming to the elemental plane of Vi with me, <laughs> real quick? Where was the one we went to before? Where was the one with the beach? That's that one. Okay, because see, I would think water, because beach, water, but I guess that's, okay, air, sure. Okay. Look at Aranya. We'll be right back. I swear this isn't weird. I don't, I don't want to leave Aranya alone. It's fine. That seems I... lonely. I'm going to pat over to Brooks and, like, shake him awake. Wait, <laughs> wait, oh, here, here, hold on, what? hold on. You don't, you don't need to be alone. Kes, go get, get the, uh, can you go back, go back in the vessel and get the meerkat? I cannot. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm going back to shaking Brooks awake. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We're gonna go uh, talk to my dad. Can you no, fuck keep you around your company? Oh, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Fine, sure. I'll. I'm awake now. Keep an eye out for werewolves. They were here earlier, but they didn't know we were here. So it's and the fortune fine. teller. Okay. Uh, sure. Maybe she'll read you a fortune again. Sure. Damn. Fuck off to your beach. Okay, bye. And so, I will disappear. Orion, you, you see both Kes and Diagon just disappear. Oh. Um, uh. we'll, do that, we'll do that first. Um, yeah, so Kes and Diagon, you appear on this, like, beach. Uh, you can see in the distance, you can see Dashu, just kind of, like, arms behind his back. He's kind of, like, holding his own hands, uh, looking out. I very and... quickly lie down in the sand, even though I can't feel the sort of sand, make, like, a sand angel. And just be like, this is a nice change from that place. <laughs> He, he yeah. turns to face and you two and uh, approaches. <laughs> what um, brings you here? Um, well, I mean, we're, we're in the shadow fall right now, but specifically Barovia. But besides the point, um, do you know if my mom left me a letter? Did she, did she write back? Do you know? Um, not yet, at least. Um, She might need some time. I don't know how long it's been for her. Uh, long enough, but um, I did kind of... We fought. Not physically, but we had I an argument. I assume. Um, so, if she does intend on writing back um, give her give her a while did she say anything about me leaving S several things she hadn't, I thought she hadn't written back so how would she have said anything I'm confused well say anything to Dashu, right? I went to go and talk to her about it. Um, se several things. Um, not all positive, but... What did she say? <sighs> Irresponsible. Blah, blah, blah. Just like me. My bad. My influence. My fault. Um, to which I well, responded I with, well, I didn't know she existed, so this is pretty hard to blame this on me. And she started yelling. <laughs> um... But at the end of the road, she did... She doesn't agree, but understands. Sort of. Hmm. Dangerous, blah, blah, blah. And I told her it's not. There's people hunting you don't exist anymore. Plague of the past, blah, blah, blah. It's, she wanted yes. one of it. I don't really think of it as the past. She hasn't changed. Just leave it at that. <laughs> But, um, I don't know, she, she, I wouldn't say she seemed remorseful, but she definitely seemed, um, 
she she seemed to be rethinking her steps and definitely realized that some of the things could have been handled a little more with a little more tact. That's unexpected. Yeah. We that was a very long conversation. <coughs> but um <clears throat> sorry. <coughs> Shadowfell, Barovia. Yeah. Yeah. We Books were avoiding brother. it for a long time, and yeah. now our, our hand is kind of enforced. And Brooks is brother god taken there. Mm. That's, um. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. We just want the health. I don't know what's better, to be honest. Does explain why it's been harder for me to sense you. Really? Barovia, yes, not since you know our first meeting, I uh, I've been able to sense you know where you are, but the the constant plane hopping makes it hard, and Barovia in particular is shrouded. Hmm. Yeah, we've been going to a lot of planes. You have. And he kind of looks at you and um, <clears throat> kind of clears his throat and suddenly kind of just like plops down to the to the sand and then just kind of sits there like cross-legged and. <sighs> but you all good? You, your friends, everything. Yeah, for now. We made a new friend. Yeah, she's pretty cool. They're pretty cool. In over there. Yeah, they they like with the Raven Queen or something. They're very very old. Yeah, well, like how old do you really think old. I, am? I mean, true. I mean, I meant compared to us, like not right. compared to you. In comparison, the three we we we're like babies. They're an adult, <laughs> and you're a grandparent. Oh no! Of my <laughs> grandparents? Say don't say that. I don't know. Did I no. deserve something? No. Oh no! Not literally. I meant in terms of comparison for generational ages, where we are in life age gap things. Like it. It was the metaphor. <laughs> Pulling your leg. No, no. <laughs> I mean, why, why, <laughs> why are you so I mean, embarrassed? I mean, What's going on? Be because maybe. Because I'm still not used to this dynamic. <laughs> this is maybe really because, weird. Maybe because when things calm down and we all have something resembling normal lives, maybe maybe there's someone Kes could be. Uh, uh, could be a granddad, huh? Huh? Yeah. I think really is a why not, huh? <laughs> Just, he's kind of no, you normally now. He just keeps going. He kind of looks at Diagon, looks at Kaz, and like sees Kaz like cringe. I, I look at Kaz and go, "I told you that whenever we come here, you're allowed to tell me to earmuffs and go wait over there, but you didn't tell me to wait over there this time." No, I, 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 I quite like this actually. No. <laughs> why are you like this? <laughs> I can see why you like her. I'm making up for lost time mm -hmm. when when people can hear me now. It's a nice change. <laughs> so, Barovia, then what's next? Once we're done here, uh, probably your thing. Yeah, as you say that, you can do. see him like like his face kind of twitches and he just sighs. I... You know how I feel about it. Mm-hmm. And I already told you that I don't care. I... And she told the group about the risks, too, so she's been very honest and upfront with that. Yeah, that's weird to me. I... Nobody talked her out of it. Tried to. There's uh some people who aren't fans, but no one was explicitly like, I'm not doing that. Did anyone try and talk us out of it? No. 
I mean, I mean, oh, Jax okay, didn't seem like a, yeah, Jax, Jax cool. was not a fan. Jax did not approve. Throw me under the bus. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. And, and even like, not just like when the black smoke was a problem, like just generally did not approve it either. I, I feel I, I like any sane, is also not on board. any sane person Wait, yeah. would think this is a bad idea, and it is. And you shouldn't. And you, you can like, definitely tell that like his look to both of you, very serious. When he like, says you like shoot Jack's him. not on board. Brooke's not on board. I think Davian's only really very loosely on board because we're going to then have to go to the elemental plane of fire later. And so it's like, I do, I, I scratch your back, you scratch mine kind of thing. And uh, also like, Elazred I'm sure would probably rather not, but it's not been the most outspoken against it. But... <laughs> I, I've said my piece, and I don't want you to do it, but it's nothing I can really do to stop you. Sadly, nope. personally, you inherited that annoying trait from me. Mm -hmm. A dragon seems much more, don't get me wrong, obviously very terrifying, very challenging, mm. big problem. But it seems much more straightforward at how to kill it than a vampire. You are sadly mistaken. Keep in mind yeah. that I've fought in a war <clears throat> against these creatures. They can be quite hard to kill. And this one being, potentially being a remnant of that war, makes him very old and very powerful. Very dangerous. Rod is also off all those things. He is old, he is powerful, he is dangerous. Don't know the man, but... Who's a, who, who? <laughs> like, second era old. Like, like powerful. Oh, yeah. I mean, vampires just don't really age, right? So... Yeah, but there's dragons that are younger than him. I suppose you're right. <laughs> Hard to argue with you that really logic. Loophole that one. <clears throat> just, um, if you do end up doing this, just come talk to me first. Please. You know, all of you. Or summon me or something. I will want to talk to all of you. Yeah, they can all come here. No, that's true. I'm only here by loophole. Well... Mm. Welcome. That's it. I'll just, I'll just come to you. It's fine. Just, just let me know when and all. Okay, we're gonna go deal with a vampire. Look, he kind of gets up, and you can definitely tell that him getting up isn't very easy anymore. He, he kind of strains mm -hmm. himself, and you can hear him kind of like got bad knees. <laughs> and um, uh, he he gives you a hug, Kess, and and just kind of waves by the diagon. I I would hug you as well, but um, I think you'd be hard pressed to do so, so it's fine. Well, I, yeah, it's just kind of I'll just go straight through you. I mean, it seems a bit a bit more awkward than me. You know, yeah, but <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Excellent. And we leave. Yeah. So in the meantime, uh, so Brooks and yeah, Aranya, <laughs> you're you're both awake. You see both of them just kind of like poosh, disappear. Can I, mm -hmm. uh, before you do anything else, just have a perception check for this uh, portion of the watch, please? Uh, can I um, assist Aranya in... instead of rolling? No. <laughs> it's a dirty oh, twenty for Aranya. That's uh, perception. Mm -hmm. Total of four, baby. Man, mm. you are so like tired. You didn't expect to be woken up. You were like in the middle of your REM sleep, and you just kind of you're out. Oh, that's the dude. worst. You are out. I'm, of no idea. I take on. an hour to wake up. Literally, and then yeah. I'll and then I'll try um, and convince Aranya to play cards. Aranya, on the other hand, mm. uh, you hear another raven call, and this raven just kind of darts straight through the illusion of the. Uh, actually, can I'm gonna say that this one can. <laughs> Just kind of darts through, like like, like you see it so. hover in front of where the illusion is, and it just kind of like disappears and then reappears on top of your on, on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. um, Hello, friend. And uh, he just kind of sits on your shoulder, um, and you hear it say to you, um, in your head, in your mind, um, that. <clears throat> He has done some scouting 
and there's something going on at the old windmill. Hmm. Which is, something you big? know, you know, he he refers to the windmill known as old bone bone grinder, oh. which is, li lies on your path towards uh, Valaki. Hmm. Ah, that's with a, great news. With a perception roll of four, do I even notice this crow? There's Raven, yeah. You see the Raven sitting on the uh, uh, Raven, sorry, yeah, on on on, her, on their shoulder, yeah. That's. Should we avoid it or should we stop it? Um. It just tells you no. Well, I need to DM you something real quick. Okay. Uh oh. Ooh. Uh oh. Little bit, little tidbit of info. I love that so much. <laughs> I'm so terrified. <laughs> um, but it, it it doesn't tell you. It just it just tells you to kind of proceed with caution. It's nothing you can't handle. Is what the what the voice says. Okay. Thank you, friend. It's kind of just kind of calls and uh, sits there for a little bit and. Does it really if it sticks around, I'll give it like a little like I'll break off a tiny piece of ration and. Give it a little bit. Yeah, it just kind of. Does Renia reply there. verbally to the Raven? I don't know. Do they? Um, just not with anything like any questions and stuff. They keep in their head, but like greetings and goodbyes, thank yous, that kind of stuff. They'll uh, say out loud. Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna question it. It's hmm. a fucking bird. Yeah, they see. Aranya, you know, this is the second time you see Aranya with a with a with a raven on on their shoulder. Um, yeah, I mean, she's to do with the Raven Queen. It makes sense. Yeah, like the ma it it fits. It fits. She, the ravens just want to hang out with them. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And they just kind of are standing watch. Other than that, if the bird stays, they'll just proceed with the watch as normal as if the mm -hmm. bird wasn't there. Yeah. While we wait for the idiots. Mm -hmm. How dare do you want? Do you want to play cards? I'm really fucking bored. Or uh, sure. Um, I, I I was gonna say dice. I don't think I have any dice. Cards is fine. Uh, you're all. Uh, you're Brooks, right? Did you? Yeah. I thought I heard someone say something about your brother. Okay. Uh, yeah, so... We're sort of here because my brother maybe sort of is... Up hanging out with, with Strad. Hanging out? Uh, at, at this point, we don't... He this, came... Him telling you this does kind of... Match up with what you were told by your master, trainer, champion, whatever you want to call him. Uh, is that like <clears throat> that? He he told you that Strad had recently received a guest, which found peculiar, given that the guest wasn't from mm. this plane. Okay. He came under false pretenses. I don't think he knows that it's a shit show yet. So we're here to. Just, uh, grab him. What kind of pretenses? The pretense is that he would be studying magic and that the people here weren't fucking horrible. And do I know that as something that Strahd, like, does? Is he trying to a mass numbers or something like uh, why would he I mean you know that he's a random... manipulative asshole that only really lets people in if he needs them for something yeah right but like if if he is, is allowing this outsider to get close he some he probably has some kind of use he's... for him yeah is your brother particularly talented and i don't know 
necromancy magic? No, I mean, he can. Uh, he's improving in his magic abilities, but like, I hang around with people that bring people back from the dead and explode werewolves and <laughs> like. It's hard to gauge. I don't think he's as practiced a practitioner of magic as the people in the group. But also, magic's outside of my wheelhouse. So... With magic being outside your wheelhouse, I imagine you already are relatively careful around it. But... If your brother's not that powerful, but your friends are... I just, I worry that maybe this is a trap of some kind. I mean... Probably, but what choice do we have? Of course. I guess... One eye open and all that. I mean, how much worse can it get? A lot. <laughs> I mean, oh, I was... Before all this happened, I was a half-elf living in Kresk. I... And now we're here, so it could get a lot worse. An entire province moved from where it should have been to the Shadowfell. I mean, it's pretty bad. Yeah, that is some... Uh, some... Fucky magic. I don't know. I I'm very good at hitting things and taking hits, and that is what I do. And everyone else seems to be building or doing the wildest shit, and I'm just here, like, yeah, I'm, you know, and. Half the time I'm worried that they're all made of glass and going to die, and the other half I'm worried that they're accidentally going to break something really important because they're all somehow simultaneously the most powerful people I know and the most fragile people I know. Hmm. You'd be surprised how often it works that way. I would just say... Know your limits when it comes to taking those hits. Don't end up dead. Please. Your limit play with him. Please? Ooh. I... Surprisingly, I tend to do okay. I have been known to make the odd, stupid decision here and there, but for the most part, I, you know, I... Everyone else seems to have a much worse time Excuse staying. Me. <laughs> Everyone else seems to have a much worse time staying alive than me, so... <laughs> Like I got I gift that. I got, <laughs> sta I got stabbed with really expensive poison and I was fine, so That sounds like luck regrets. more than it's skill. <laughs> Bigger regret telling him how much it costs because he just can't let it go. <laughs> <laughs> so how anyway. bad have I been doing at cards while we've been I talking mean... about this? <laughs> Do we make rolls or anything, or are we just... Oh, I mean, I'm... Brooks has a fucking, like, fake set of cards. So he's just, he's just... Aranya, with... Aranya yeah. just has a natural poker it face because which... they just don't really interact with people socially. So... Am I am I ego-checking the newbie? Oh, <laughs> you're Brooks. No. Yes, you are. No. Yes, you're Brooks. Yes, you are. <laughs> Come on, dude. Be check. honest with no, 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 no. You've got to con them into, and then you pull out the other pack of cards, <laughs> like two <laughs> nights later. Already. Right, right. right. Uh, no, I'm using the unmarked ones. Those are the ones Kes drew on. <laughs> well, those are the ones Kes drew on. Okay. Um, um, they are yeah. marked. <laughs> So they no, are no, marked, no, but no, not, no. By, not like that. No, none, not of them, none of them are marked. <laughs> none of them are marked in a way where like the back of the cards marked. Just depends if you draw a certain card. And if either of us draw a certain card. Well, if you kind mm. of, like, spend, like, the entire time playing cards while chatting, at some point that those cards will, will come up. The card that Kes had 
Okay, but who draws it? Both of you roll the. the, 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 the I'm having a stroke. Uh, both of you <laughs> roll. What about now? It's time to rock. <laughs> roll a d20. <laughs> Brooks is specifically like. Brooks isn't playing his best. He's trying to size them up quite a bit, so he's <sighs> seeing how good they are at reading people. Mm hmm. That's an 11 for me. That's a 9 for me. Uh, man, that sucks. Um, Aranya. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. You draw a... Is it the Queen of Hearts? Yeah. Draw a Queen is of it? Hearts. And you look at it, and you notice that this card has been painted on. Uh, and <laughs> the Queen has been replaced by a figure that somewhat represents Kess. <laughs> It's me. I'll just kind of make a weird face at it. But I don't know. I don't know if this is a game where we don't show each other cards or what. But if it is, I'll not show you. But if I can show you cards, then I will. Uh, it's probably one of, of those where, it. like, at the end of the at the end of the round, you show your hand, kind of. Thing. We're, yeah. basi we're yeah. basically playing like fucking fantasy poker, whichever one it is. The, okay. The, the dragons, whatever. Okay, yeah. so yeah, whenever there, whenever I do have an option to show you without like it being me showing you my hand, I will show you and just kind of be like, uh, is this your friend? <laughs> that would be Kess and Kess's handiwork, yes. Excellent. When the fuck has she done that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't used this playing cards in... Ooh. A really long time because really I did is. this ages ago. <laughs> a year ago, it feels like six yeah. weeks ago. Six weeks ago, I used these cards. So, at some point in the last <laughs> six weeks, she has stolen them. <laughs> Hang on, pass me your cards now that we're done with this hand. Sure, and I... I'm gonna go through the entire deck. Any other cards <laughs> you fucked with, uh, Bill? Which other ones did I fuck with? I, I don't know if you two. did. I think I did. I think I like painted random shit on them and then drew myself. I know that you drew in his journal because he found that. Yeah, I did. I think I also did some other stuff to the cards, but I can't remember I which check. session it was. It was like uh, before it was um, the. Or the porcupine. No, it was after the porcupine because it was when she stole his jacket. Right. Oh, yeah! Uh. Do, do, do. Like after Porcupine, but before Nautical Arc, then like in between that. Oh, it was it was Fight Night. It was specifically yeah, yeah, Fight yeah, Night. The fight Night. Dude, that was forever ago. In game, it's not been. It's only been a couple months, but in in real life, it's been like over a year. Yeah, easily. I know. <laughs> uh, the fifth of awesome. And we're currently at the twenty first, almost the twenty second of Septimon. So yeah, a month and a half. Ago in a while. In yeah. Game. About six weeks. weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, well, look at that. I know my fucking my time. Man. My man's. <laughs> I don't. I, I might be misremembering, but I feel like Kess only did the one. I, but I, I don't know. Done. I don't know. Because uh, I didn't put it in my notes because all of my notes are in character. I might it, have just been the one. At metagame, if you don't write True. the fucking <laughs> notes. Yeah, I think it was just the one. So the rest of your cards are normal. It's just the uh, Queen of Hearts. <laughs> and then I drew in the book, and that was the. She would fucking. She would. Of all the cards, she would. Uh, at that point, uh, you two pop back out of the vessel and appear next to them uh, while they're, you know, chatting, playing cards. Um, and we'll say that that watch is done. So, Brooks, you can get back and finish up your long rest. The rest of you. Uh, unless there's anything you want to discuss, I'd like you both to roll, or the three of you to roll perception checks. Can I, before I go to bed, slide a hand of this card into, like, Kess's bag? Excellent the handshake. <laughs> Can I... Is that matching my passive? Uh, well, it depends. Are you carrying your bag, or did you kind of, like, leave it on the ground? I'd be... It carrying. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Trust doesn't... me, it doesn't matter. I have a plus seven to slide a hand, so that makes it a ten. Oh, you're old. Not uh, what's your passive perception, Kess? 23. Something okay. stupid, yeah. Jesus. Uh, yeah, you see Brooks kind of like, his hand goes to in, in your back for like a split second and then he pulls it, pulls it back out and goes to lie down. Kess immediately like reaches behind her 
is like trying to get in a bag. Mm. Probably spinning in a circle as she's like trying to get in a bag to get what it was. Yeah, eventually you dig <laughs> up the, the card. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> I will show Dagon. <laughs> Pretty good. Right? Okay, long enough. Mm. All right. <laughs> so perception checks for the final bit of watch. Arrows no, of... Go ahead. Oh, a 23 for Aranya. 14. Uh, 23 for me too. There you go. Ooh, twinsies. Um, uh, this piece of night, uh, piece of night, part of the night. Sorry, Jesus. It's That's delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it goes by pretty, pretty. It's fine. Uh, not nothing else passes your um, your like alcove, and I would say the sun is coming up, but it's not because you're in Barovia and life is hell and pain. So uh, the color in the yeah, air like has not changed one bit over the course of the night, but eight hours have passed, and you all kind of wake up now and um, have all long rested. So you know, hit that, hit that button, and um, push yeah. the button. I have a question, Dutch. So mm -hmm. after this long rest, yes, are my maximum hit points back to their regular, or are they still diminished from that attack? Back to I took? what they would normally be. Yay! Yay! I'm very happy. Um, Aranya will relay the message that they were given by their crow friend. Raven. Hey. Raven bird. Um, oh, at the fucking... At the bone grinder? We know shit. At Davian. What? And... Uh, Aranya tells the group that uh, they were warned overnight about something going on at the bone grinder yeah there's there's hags there with drugged up pies ah drugged up pies that sounds people disgusting. are trading children to them for the pies what on earth well i was told it was nothing <laughs> that we i'm surprised that couldn't... slipped past you to be honest mm. <laughs> well i haven't been that way in some time but um okay well, I was told that it wasn't anything we can't handle, so if that's something that you all want to stop off and do, I'm definitely open to it, knowing that information. Um, otherwise, you know, it, it's on the way, so. Oh, so I just... Big detail, then. Can you imagine how much easier our life would be if we had... You'll have all looked at the map, and you can see that Old Bone Grinder literally is like on the way to where you're headed. I just oh, yeah. look at Brooks and wait for his response since because we're here for your brother and if time is of the essence I don't want to be responsible for making a decision that costs us like the hour we needed to get to him in time or something you know and uh Aranya like... casts mage armor on themselves I also do that I feel like if we don't deal with this on the way through, it's just going to be waiting for us on the way back, and it's going to bite us in the ass. Nah, that'll be fine. We didn't really have any... Oh, um, Mage Armor is uh, a waste of a spell slot for me, actually. You, <laughs> oh, well. Could you ask your... Since you're getting uh, tidbits from the, from the Raven Queen, could you ask her if this... If it's time-sensitive, or... Oh, well, I... They just come to me. I I don't commune with her myself. That's kind of inconvenient. The That's raven. It is the raven still little... sits on 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 your shoulder, what? Rania, and just yeah, never. never, never really? Went. Yeah, never went. Never went. It away. never left. No, it's just been oh. chilling. And it just kind of it's case. just kind of calls. <laughs> it doesn't really say anything. Just calls. Oh, so it's like some sort of a timed spell of some kind where <laughs> after a certain period I can't ask any questions or anything? Is that kind of the vibe I get? No, it's just, uh, not a spell. It is just you, you've known this raven for as long as you've been in training. Um, oh. This raven has just kind of been, has a free will, but just kind of acts as like a communicator for, for the agents of the Raven Queen. Well, raven I'll try name? to talk in its head again. Um... Yeah. And I'll just ask, you know, how urgent is what's happening in the bone grinder? Can we maybe do that on the way back, or should we do it on the way there? Will it well, delay us too much? Um, 
Neff kind of looks at you and uh, you hear in the back of your head um, um Nev. don't think you'll have a choice mm. Does it, this mean and I'll turn to the group and I'll say it seems like it's unavoidable for us <laughs> Does this mean canonically the first the first campaign one character to talk on screen was Nev uh, well, the Empress talks. Empress, yeah. In the first episode, yeah. like the first And session. Peter Riz. And Peter Riz, true. They weren't in the party, though. He was never. Peter Riz never, works never at our house, in, bro. Was <laughs> in Peter Riz was like our, our fucking boy. But yeah, this yeah, is but he wasn't this in is the party. this this is this is Nev. Yeah, this is that. Yeah. I was gonna say I thought we were on pretty good us... terms with the hags, okay. but considering how we sort of detailed, chained on up or How whatever. details was the play that me that Brooks and Kess saw? Like, does it even cover Nev? No, it kind of left him out. To be honest, it's when it's the play, was the play some like Avatar the Last Airbender. No, it was just the play. Was just, it just Jen. described the the party, the Heroes of Exile. Yen fighting clearly orcas. did not think Nev was important Nev enough. Just kinda, to be... no, Nev, Nev just didn't really come up. You know, they didn't. Well, cast what was it like? The, it was the whole the whole escapade. Because I mean, uh, the know. final battle. Was Nev even in the final battle, guys? Probably. No. Probably Nev was so around. Why? Nev was always around, but Nev doesn't do sure, anything. Sure, yeah, he wasn't in anything combat, so probably just flew away. Yeah, just, yeah if, if it was, yeah, a... was part of the party, he didn't do anything. So that, the yeah, point exactly. I'm getting to while everyone bickers is that <laughs> we have no fucking clue who Nev is. True. Cool. Yeah. That's what I wanted to fuck, establish. No. Sick. All right. So, uh, you all have some food. Uh, mark it down if you're eating rations or whatnot or whatever. Um, mm. and, uh, I, mean, I mean, does anyone want to forage or are we all on rations, baby? Fuck foraging this. Rations, baby. Do I need to just yeah. mark down for the whole party since I'm pretty sure I have like the 100 fucking rations? Yeah, or I think you basically do, yeah. So. I mean, I mark down for myself. But I mean, I've got my own personal stat, but you know, if you want to mark them down, just hand them out. I'm trying to mark them out. I mean, just... Aranya eats their own rations. Okay. But takes right. note of you having a bunch. <laughs> I've just been like, rations. In case our journey is long, you know. Mm. Ration. Ration. Um, and you Ration. kind of uh, hit the road again. Jack. Is the uh, the tiny hut only lasts eight hours, right? So that drops as well. Um, what did you just call me? <laughs> what? You Sorry, dumb bitch. What are you talking about? What's happening? Never mind. It's fucking bells on my shit list now. <laughs> <laughs> um, you follow the dirt road as it clings to the side of the mountain and ends before a uh, an arching bridge of mold encrusted stone that spans a natural chasm. Gargoyles cloaked in, uh, coated in in black moss perch on the corners of the bridge. Their frowns weather worn and part of them kind of like broken off. Um, these seem different from the gargoyles you fought, by the way. These are much smaller, much okay. more like a dark stone. Definitely. Okay. Uh, you know, covered in moss, some of the little brittle looking. Definitely you can not see alive. Uh, a waterfall spilling into a misty pool nearly a thousand feet below. The pool feeds a river that meanders into the fog shrouded, uh, the fog shrouded uh, woods that blanket the valley. Uh, yeah, and this bridge, I'll, I'll show you real quick. Um, because, you know, fuck oh, it. The, the Wonderful. Uh, I'm so excited. I've seen in my life. Oh, is my fucking shit fucked? Your tailspire is... It's not fucked, but like on OBS, on OBS it's, it's fucked. It's like frozen, yeah. Yeah, on OBS it's stuck on the old... Just restart the source, maybe. Yeah, yeah I will, I will, I will. Uh, I just need to figure out which one it is again. There once was a hero named Ragnar the Red. <laughs> what the fuck is it? There it is. I have a music box in Over game that plays that song. It's amazing. And oh, and there's an emote too where you can play it. Okay, that just doesn't work. In cool. Uh, let me try that again. There we go. Spell tire. Oh. Uh oh. No, oh, you good, you good, you good. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Oh no. There we go. Oh, no. Are you you can use Lucy move right? Yeah. Okay. So oh, we gotta wait. I need to find out where you are. It, so it'll, you, it'll do for now. You are all Nothing. You're all here, you're and this bridge that you see crosses is the only way you see across the chasm. You can see to your left. There's this waterfall hey. going down. 
and uh, this it's a it's a thousand foot drop. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> sounds fun. I'll okay. jump. What I'm hearing is survivable. Hmm. There's water below. We can turn into a goldfish. Uh, I've got a. I'm a fucking. I've got levels in monk. I can survive that. Sure, man. I can survive that. Sure, man. I can survive it. Uh, but that is what you see. Um, I okay. technically can. I technically can. Fuck you guys. I mean, if it's a thousand foot drop, that means a troll underneath it. Big. Yeah. You know, like. Capped fall damage, smile. If the DM does cap fall damage, smile. Dude, the only cap here is <laughs> what just came out of your mouth. Nope. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I hate it here. That might be the worst joke you've ever made. Yeah. Welcome it's still to better it. than most of the shit you've Welcome said. to... Heyo! <laughs> uh, but yeah, you... Toko... Um... What? The, the, you can see from, from where you are carry. that the, the chasm walls are, are, are slippery and very sheer, and you don't really see a way to scale them or climb down without proper tools or magical aid. Uh, the bridge is slick with moisture, but seems safe to cross. Um, what are you that? There's also a road south of the bridge that leads down the mountain uh, towards the woods and you can see, and like along the river, which you reckon that would be that is the path you avoided when you were at the crossroads. So both paths ended up meeting up oh. here at this bridge. Well then. Can I... This feels like something bad's gonna happen. I mean, activate we've got the whole by set setup just for a bridge. I want to activate my boots of flying and look under the bridge. I feel like there's gonna be some traction issues because words like slick and slippery okay. and appear safer um, said many times. Under the bridge. You fly and kind of like hover to look under the bridge mm -hmm. big troll see nothing thousand oh. foot troll he's invisible <laughs> how sturdy does the bridge look from underneath just uh, as a man of building like, like it, it looks safe to cross uh, the surface as on top is, is slippery thing. because of the moisture <laughs> but other than that it looks safe to the trolls back I will okay. fly uh, back to the group I and would the like the side seems fine yeah, I fine, just, then. I just want to take a good look at the bridge. You know what I mean? Like, just let me take a good look at this bridge. I mean, I want to just start. Oh, what? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be honest. I'm probably gonna start fucking crossing this thing. No, 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 no. no. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, Devian, investigate it first. Hold on. Zuko and Devian have, have plans. It's a, it's I just a had bridge. an idea as well. I don't know what you guys mean. I have a very good idea. Oh, investigation? Yeah. I guess that means I can roll with advantage. Yeah. Fucking piss and shit all over my ass. Okay. All right. Uh, Shake America's ass, baby. Oh, investigation that is an 18. You look at the bridge and you also notice that it seems slippery because of the, the the fact that the tiles are sleek stone, but they are moist because of the waterfall nearby. But you also look around and I mean, this kind of seems like the only way across. And people live here, and you see carts exist. That this seems like it's just a, the only way really to cross the chasm. While my boots are flying, are all right, active, I start walking. Touch... Yeah, I like this. Okay. Well, all right. You mean you mean it's just the you bridge? You still do whatever wait, you're gonna wait, do. Wait, so wait. No, it's cool. No, it's we, cool. We, it, no, we if should. If my theory was wrong, something's Why gonna happen. Why are we waiting? Tonight, it's, it's just a bridge, guys. Look, I'll show you, and I'm gonna start fucking walking over the bridge. As right. you're halfway over the bridge, uh, make a dexterity yeah. throw. Hurry. It's, it's purely. It's nothing bad. It's literally just. It's slippery, so don't fall. <laughs> You, no, you, fuck. you slip and fall flat on your ass. Fuck! Oh! Oh, my ass. <laughs> and as you do, the bridge begins to shake. Oh, really yeah, there you go. It's fine. He can fly. How dark he can fly. But nothing else happens. It's, oh. perpetual, it's perpetual dim light here. Isn't so it? is the bridge just shaking always? It's just bit. swaying a little. Just, uh, just, no, it's okay. not swaying. It just shakes a bit. I will... Uh... Uh, if I'm just gonna fly over to the other side. I'll pull myself up and I'm just gonna hold him to the side. You know, like when you go like ice skating, you just hold onto mm -hmm. the edge. <laughs> Very much that. Like, yeah. slow, slow. It's gonna be one of those where like if enough of us fall, it breaks or some shit. Wait, right before, before Jax takes off flying, can I try? Can can I can I hit check with Jax so I don't have to worry about crossing it. the bridge? You know, this, <laughs> is where, this is where you slip and fall on your ass, but you do eventually make it uh, make it across. No, I'll, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll yeah. just quickly. You hit your ride with Jax across this bridge? Yep, you know, I'm just gonna fly across. <laughs> I'm just I don't like, want to fuck with it. So you fly across. 
I really don't like this. What else are you guys doing? I guess Dagon's also across because Dagon's... It's perfectly is... fine! There's, there's um, nothing to worry about! Aranya oh. will grip her cloak edges and fly across as well. I will also fly across. So everybody's flying across? <laughs> so it's, just you, it's just me and Davian. <laughs> so it's just me and Davian, right? I could own it. At this point, yeah. I don't know. I mean, a dog. oh yeah, owner's doggo. I just said I was walking across. As soon as I invested, oh, okay, 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 like, okay. you beach whip we? And like, Make I just kind of went. Save? Yeah. Yeah. You can do this. You're a Dexy boy. Is he? Yeah, natural 17, 23. You do like the little, oh, like, yeah. whoa, as you kind of feel it beginning to slip, but you manage to, like, keep your grip and, uh, yeah, just keep going. You cross. I guess I've got no choice. I was gonna get someone to put a fucking rope across, and <laughs> the rest of your group is just oh, gone. Fuck you. I'll just I mean, you got you got danger grip. sense, bro, and you know You'll that there's fine. danger. Only if it's a thing. trap. No. So you go. You saw Lazarus. You see. You saw yeah. Lazarus slip. So can you, know can you see carefully? yourself slipping over? Make a dex save. Can you see advantage. other people are having a hard time crossing the yeah, bridge? Yeah. Make a dex save. You might need to make a dex save. With advantage. Yeah, that's dangerous. Danger sense. Dex? That's what I said three times, yeah. 25. <laughs> he dies. He falls and dies. Fuck. Cross if I bridge. didn't have advantage, it was a 13. And as you cross the bridge... <laughs> oh, the trap's on the other side of the bridge. Yeah. It's like stomping. There's heavy stomping, heavy footfalls. Oh. As some of the trees the to the right <sighs> crack and fall down. As you can see approaching you, a large shadow-covered monstrosity. Giant in shape. Just... Please tell me it's a troll and he's going to give us a riddle and we'll be fine. <laughs> Approaching you. And uh, we'll pick this up next week. Oh, no. Oh, uh, we're we're being there a nice giant. And he hits us with a what's in my pockets is. Sure, man. <laughs> and we'll, we'll black, pick this up next week. Red all over. He's got thanks for candles. being here, Penguin. guys. I hope I'm you guys have fun. Briar, thanks again for uh, for joining us. Uh, and, thanks and, and, for you know, having me. I'm so excited. Welcome. How dare your character? To the so sorry characters. that we invited you here. We'll, uh, we'll be back next Sunday for for more of this. We'll be live uh, Saturday <laughs> uh, on, on Laura's channel playing D&D. Some of us are, at least. Uh, and Thursday we'll do Discourse. I don't know who's going to be guesting yet, so we'll figure it out tomorrow. So, you know, keep an eye on the Discord. He's too um, tired today. Not I just, yeah, just I'm so boofed, bro. Thank but, God for that. Um, thanks for watching. Thank we appreciate the shit out of you. And uh, see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye. 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 Bye.